my stream. There it goes. All right. Well, uh, hey, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the Monterey Bay Aquarium live here on Twitch and YouTube. It's Emily. That's the voice that you're hearing right now. I'm part of the social media team here at the Monterey Bay Aquarium. Um, and you might not see him right now, but he's here. It's Patrick. Patrick is over at his house across the bay. Uh, my friend, my colleague, my coworker, my good buddy. Uh, Patrick, Patrick, hi. Hello, this is the disembodied voice of Patrick. I have ascended to being uh, the narrator of the, of the live stream. Hopefully a narrator that we can trust. Um, but uh, Emily is going to be running around here on her island uh, by herself just for a little bit so that we can do some cool gameplay that isn't uh, able to happen when I'm visiting Monty Ray uh, Island. So hello, everyone. I'm Patrick, uh, the um, other half of the social media team, Emily being the better half right now. Um, but first of all, now that we are live right now on Twitch, we already have 137 people watching. We're Ooh. also live over on YouTube and we've got a bunch of people watching as well. I just wanted to point out very quickly, look at the quality of this live stream. Look yeah. at the quality of this video being sent yeah. out to all of you folks. Emily has been working super hard behind the scenes, uh, to get our tech up. You know, we, we, um, when the aquarium closed because of uh, coronavirus and we all went to our separate homes, um, we uh, were not quite set up to be gamers. And we got some pro game removes happening on the tech front from Emily. And I would just like everybody to put some <laughs> W's in the chat, W's in the chat for Emily being able to finagle yeah. some pro gamer <laughs> strats on the tech front that's right at fruit uh, bat octavian and hd now <laughs> that's right pulled pulled together from a shoestring uh a duct tape bubble gum uh and now look at us go we are completely we're we're legit we're legit gamers now <laughs> episode 17 and we're finally in hd everybody you love no. to see it now, with you saying that, Patrick, you do realize that you have jinxed the entire stream since this is the first time running it with the new setup. I am a little concerned that something right. is going to explode and break, but hopefully, hopefully the boot is fine. It's going to be fine. Everything, everything is going to be fine, everyone. I am not panicking. No, you're um. totally good, Emily. <laughs> you're totally fine. Everything's looking good. Nothing's going to break. And if it does, it'll just be another legendary moment in Monterey Bay Aquarium <laughs> streaming. Uh, we've been, we, we realized that we've streamed over a day of gameplay at this point of, uh, of Animal Crossing with everybody. Um, so thank you again for everybody who's been there the whole time. While, while Emily stresses out a little bit, it a is bit. definitely our favorite time of the week. Yeah, with all y'all. Exactly. Um, sorry, Patrick. I I've been standing here next to this finned fish for a yes. while now, and I know that we have other priorities in the game. But um, who's it gonna be? On the off chance that oh, it's a whale shark! Yay! Oh, I'm so glad that we can be bored of uh, catching of whale sharks. Whale sharks. At unlike this point. the first time. <laughs> because not only does it mean that in Animal Crossing, whale sharks are not an endangered species as they are in the wild. It also means that we have uh, been performing pretty well as far as uh, the shark fishing aspect of the game. Uh, I believe we can, what we all remember where we were when we caught the mola um, on the last stream uh, just about a week ago. <laughs> Feels like an eternity ago, but, um, you know, people have come to expect us uh, miscasting. Uh, not catching the fish, but we have recovered, <laughs> I think. Um, great job there, Emily. Oh, first, thank you. First shark of the stream. First shark bless of the stream. With... Yeah, first shark of the stream, first fish of the stream. Yes. It's not a, not a bad deal having it be a whale shark. Um, yeah, it was just sa sitting there in the water. So for those of you who did not catch the last game, uh, yes. Patrick here did manage to catch a mola mola, an ocean sunfish during that game. I did. After how it many was, hours, Emily? It was so magical. It was the first stream where we tried was two, two and a half hours long. Two and a half hours, and, right. And there was no sign of a whale shark, or not a whale shark, a mola mola anywhere. Um, and then like the third fish... <laughs> of the game on the last stream after spending the entire day diving. Uh, it was a mola mola. It was magnificent. It was just this and beautiful I, serendipitous moment there. 
Absolutely. And I think, um, so the Mandalay is here in the chat. Sorry, we mm -hmm. missed uh, you on the last stream with the Mola. We ended up going with uh, Baby Wheel um, for yes. for the name of, of the Mola um, and uh, of my Mola that's over on uh, Punnery Row. Um, but I believe Guac of Mola was definitely the runner up um, for for the next <laughs> uh, for the next Mola when Emily is able to find one for for yes. uh, yep. for Monte Rey Island. So guacamole coming up, baby wheel. Um, it's gonna uh, be over there. Family, on a family. It's a tuna J. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> for for our Mola was what uh, was what we ended up uh, coming up with true. on the last stream. So you know, baby wheel is hanging out over actually uh, with a lot of others over on Punnery Row. Uh, and I did want to point out that uh, I just looked to see that Blathers mentions that they drift along with the currents uh, when they want to. And uh, that's a little bit of accuracy slash inaccuracy at the same time. They drift along with the currents, but they swim along with those currents, mostly going after drifters. Um, we wanted on the last stream, we talked about a Mola swimming erasure that has happened in popular culture. And Emily shared her story of how. Uh, mm -hmm. she's witnessed a mola breach out of the water. I've witnessed a mola breach out of the water. They're anything but passive uh, swimmers out there. So um, just true. I tried to correct Blathers in game, but there wasn't the chat function, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, that, that's in the next patch, Patrick. Yeah. Oh, uh, the Mandalay. If you're not familiar with Boston, the Boston man who finds an ocean sunfish, um, it's a baby whale uh, said in a Bostonian accent. Sounds like baby wheel. Um, and uh, in the chat, the other time as well, somebody mentioned that the Chinese term for um, for ocean sunfish is actually uh, related to a wheel on its side. So it actually works out very well. Look at that front flip. I'm I'm on the twitch delay, Emily. <laughs> That's but okay. I know you're front you're flip used to into the water. You nailed it Incredible. in real time. Um, sorry, no, I didn't want to distract from what you were saying, but. Uh, I just wanted to get to the water because that's yeah, where we're, we're going to the water because I'm not on the island, so we can go meet a very special character, right, Emily? Yes, yes. So, um, in this new update, not only did we get this uh, magical ability to go swimming and diving in Animal Crossing, which for two nerdy marine biologists was the best update in the world. Uh, uh, yeah, it's pretty much. I think I, I don't know if Nintendo or Animal Crossing made a hard piv a hard pivot in their game plan uh, to just appeal directly to you and me, Emily. But uh, <laughs> if that is what the meeting was about, they have succeeded. They really <laughs> because have. Because this is pretty much the perfect uh, game now. <gasps> oh my gosh, Patrick! Get out of here! It happened on the very first try. <laughs> you got a scallop. It ought to be savored. Scallop. It ought to be savored. And look who is there. Look who showed up. Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, look at him back there. Wow. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. The boy <laughs> is here. Yes, Pascal is here. First try. Let's go. Let's do it. So um, scallops <laughs> uh, are a bivalve mollusk and uh, one of the first two animals that you actually see in the entire game. Um and pa oh there's pascal <gasps> <laughs> i've never met him before is he a french otter with the with the beret it kind of looks like a french otter but he talks like a a true californian patrick so okay well here I let me hold on like... let me let me turn on the game sound <laughs> hey man about that scallop of yours can i have it so literally pascal is me I feel yeah. like yeah, I feel like Yeah, you Pascal, and Pascal is me, Californian yeah. accent, but with the French <laughs> with the French flair and spends a lot of time in the water and has a lot of fur on his face. Oh, someone oh, just pointed goodness. out we match. Yes, we do match. Look hey everybody, at it's Pat Scal time. It's Pat Scal. I'm Pat I'm Pat Scal from now on. That's yes. canon. Yep. Yep, absolutely. Um, oh my goodness gracious. Obviously you can have our scallop Pascal. Sure. There you go. Hey, man. <laughs> Thanks for your generosity, man. Oh, this is so cute. Um, yeah, this is a thousand percent a Californian sea otter that we are looking at right this now. This is so great. It's so cute. And we should mention that the California sea otter is now, uh, well, uh, is now the term for the southern sea otter um, for our otter researchers. So we got the California sea otter. Then there's the northern sea otter that you find uh, from Washington through Alaska um, and Canada. 
and then you've got the Russian sea otter, and then there was the Japanese sea otter. So California sea otter is now the official term we can use. Yes. That's awesome. Yep, 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 absolutely. So we've got our California sea otter. Just gave them a scallop, too, because obviously, uh, as a Californian sea otter, they are eating those invertebrates out there in the ocean. So anything without a backbone, including things like scallops, um, that's what they are going to, in Pascal's words, dig the most um yeah. oh man all right and where we are being instructed uh, and emily i yeah. i know that you are a pro gamer so you are going to do this yeah. anyway but we are being heavily instructed over on youtube <laughs> that we must swim we must. after pascal we must, we must. swim after oh. pascal so oh, just YouTube, in case just know. in case <laughs> emily you you had you had you were in a, a fugue state a fit of not following the otter, uh, we must make sure that we follow um, <laughs> Pascal into otter space afterward. It is a beckoning from YouTube, and I hope you yes, hear it. Yes, 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 yes. Um, oh, he's going to lay some truth on us, the deep kind. Oh, boy. All right, feel this. If time is relative, then a calendar has got to be like a family tree. Oh, goodness. I love you. <laughs> it really is Pascal. Pascal, you. Oh, that he is my significant otter, everybody. Everyone else can back off. Everyone else can back off. Pascal is my significant otter. Y'all, it is Pascal from it's now Pat on. Pascal. Yep. Oh, my Absolutely. goodness. Absolutely. Oh, my gosh. Incredible. <laughs> Consider yourself truthed. Yep, today good day oh pascal look yeah. at you go swimming on your back all right hold on we gotta go monty ray swim swim fast swim as fast as you can oh those big back feet working like paddles pushing him through the water there oh no stop monty stop look at it go Oh, that's amazing that he actually the does that in game. On his tummy. Wow, oh. and that is actually behavior that we find. Um, um, that is behavior that we find in the wild, Emily. That that action that you just saw of um, of Pascal swimming there on his back, sculling with his feet, and then using uh, what looks like his necklace, but uh, what wild otters might use a, a rock for as an anvil is cracking that food open on their belly. Oh. Um, and we see it out here all, all the time, but it's actually something that the mother sea otters have to teach uh, their pups how to do. Um, it's not something innate, but otters do use tools and some otters will smash with a rock uh, like a hammer or they'll use the rock as an anvil as you just saw uh, Pascal use. So um, in the lore of Animal Crossing, Pascal's mom taught him how to do that back exactly. in the day. Yep. Uh, and certain otters that don't uh, that don't learn that particular trick might use their teeth their whole life to open up their scallops and their food, um, and that obviously wears them down very quickly, and so they have a shorter lifespan. Or that's part of that's uh, some of the findings there is that some otters might live a short amount of time if they don't get taught how to open that up. So good job, Pascal's mom. Good job, Pascal. Wow, that was so cool. That was so good. Oh, we found another scallop. That's okay. Pascal wow. won't be coming back though this time. So that scallop is just for us. Another scallop just for us. Another um, scallop just for us. If you do enjoy eating scallops, everybody, what you're eating is the muscle known as the adductor muscle in there. And it's longitudinal muscle strands uh, because um, it the muscle pulls the top part of the shell down to the bottom part of the shell. Uh, and there were previously people who used uh, hole punches to sharks to sell fake sea scallops and the muscle strands in those fake sea scallops run uh, the opposite direction. They run left to right instead of top down because a shark is not trying to close a shell. So that would be back in the day, that would have been a way to tell fake sea scallops from true sea scallops there. Mm -hmm. uh, that's my little fact that I have there. But Emily, can can you just describe what it's like to see Pascal? Because I'm just so happy. I'm just blathering <laughs> on about other marine science facts because I'm just so happy to no, see him. No, I'm very happy to see Pascal too. And I mean, if we were swimming around here back in the 1910s, uh, seeing Pascal would have been like seeing a pterodactyl. 
uh, out in the wild because uh, people thought that they were extinct then. Um, the California sea otters and, and most of the sea otters in the Pacific had been hunted from about a quarter million uh, in their entire population down to only just a few thousand uh, by the early 1900s. Um, and so most people thought that they had gone extinct along the California coast. Uh, and it wasn't until uh, someone actually spotted them off the coast of Big Sur. Uh, the locals kind of kept that little population of them a secret. And then someone published the story about that in a newspaper. All of a sudden you mm -hmm. had tourists flocking to California, going down on the newly completed Highway 1 down towards the Bixby Bridge um, to see these animals that they had thought were no longer around. Um, so that little population there of about 50 sea otters that were left along the California coast is where we get all 3,000 sea otters that exist along our coast today. So even then, 3,000 sea otters is not a very big number. Um, these are still threatened animals that are slowly coming back, but um, thanks to a lot of people working together along the coast to protect these animals, they are making a comeback. So um, it's always exciting to see them here in Monterey and see them um, here in the game, too, to have our little Pascal sea otter swimming around our, our island here, chowing down on the scallops, Patrick. Absolutely. And uh, it it's <laughs> it's kind of a fun story uh, as well um, about, I believe it was Steinbeck who wrote, I forget which book it, it's in, but it's a little a, a little fact about... Um, about the rediscovery or the, you know, the, the discovery of sea otters still being around. People obviously still knew that they were there, but um, I believe the story goes that it was uh, a woman from Pacific Grove who went on a three day backpacking trip over to Big Sur, who happened to be down there while they were building um, the road and was looking down, uh, was looking down as, and other people were pointing out this animal that was swimming by. And she went back over to uh, Hopkins Marine Station to some scientists saying like, hey, you know, I saw this really interesting animal, wasn't a seal, wasn't a sea lion, uh, was swimming on its back, it was, you know, diving down, coming back up with shellfish, it's it, very weird, what, what would that be? And uh, uh, the scientist said, well, what you're describing is a sea otter, but those went extinct a long time ago, so you probably just saw a seal or a sea lion. She's like, well, no, I... I, I really think that it's not a sea or sea lion. I live around here. I know I know what I'm looking at. I'm pretty sure if you're describing it as a sea otter. And so then words started getting out. And then eventually um, a newspaper article came out with the now famous photo that we actually have in our exhibit hall of this raft of sea otters hanging out there off of uh, the Bigsby Bridge. And so John Steinbeck makes a little bit of a, a sassy quip about how even presented with evidence of uh, sea otters still being around and no longer being extinct. We wonder if the scientists ever updated their records um, uh, just as a little jab about, you know, <laughs> spending more time out there in nature than the scientists and seeing something that if it's not written down in a scientific article, then it doesn't exist uh, as being a, a fallacy of, of academia at times. So that was kind of a funny story. And I know Steinbeck mentioned it at some point talking about, you know, real scientists spend a lot of time in the tide pools, uh, which is what Ed Ricketts was doing, uh, his good buddy. So, yeah, anyway, pretty fun stuff yep. uh, with the sea otters there. Uh, sorry, Emily, I was mildly distracted, too. I forgot to tweet. We're, That's we're, okay. We've tweeted, so we people tweeted. should be coming out. Hooray, coming we out. have tweeted. Yeah. We've got our next uh, thing I'm going to die for here. Oh, it's sea grapes again. Hello, sea grapes. Uh, talked about those on the last stream there, if you want to learn a little bit about sea grapes. Oh, no. Okay. Um uh, you're gonna need to <laughs> do something about those nook miles. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, yeah. I will. I will work on that right now. Um, you better, because you know how chat gets with your nook miles. I, I know. I'm so sorry, <laughs> chat. I'm so sorry. All right. Let's make sure I don't have anything else. Nope. Okay. All right. There we go. Nook miles acquired. Um. Well done. If I'm was gonna. I'm it. gonna let the our Tumblr friends know that we're live as well. Be on Instagram after this. So, look at us go. We finally figured out after 17 episodes how to get the word out that we are. <laughs> we're doing a thing. Hello, we're internet. We're doing a thing, everyone, and it looks good. You know, it looks good, Emily. <laughs> Hello, internet. We are internet professionals. Um, we're doing a thing. 
on the internet. <laughs> Would you like to attend this thing on the internet? It's pretty great. Um, got another mollusk there, Patrick, on another octopus. Really? Um, yes. I figure we'll go diving for a little bit right now. Um but then we'll go into the museum so that uh, we can check out some of the animals. I don't know when you want to come over to the island since we have seen Pascal now. We've seen Pascal. I don't know if you want to go yeah, through the museum to see where some of those animals go, especially the moon jellies. I think that'll get everyone really excited. Yeah, I've donated um, all of the animals that we have collected so far. So you'll be able to see them in the museum with me if if. Uh, if Rick Etz would oh, like to join. Oh, yeah, enjoy that's him. right. Okay, so you've already donated everything. Well, yep. great. Well, I'll just yep. keep posting stuff Speaking here, and then uh, I'll, I'll... I'll keep on diving make... to see if we get any uh, any other animals, new animals in the meantime here. Yep, but, I'll make my way over um, to the airport. Then we're going to both go diving together starting around 4 p.m., since uh, that's when... Uh, oh, look, Rick Etz, you're online now. I'm online. Hooray! Uh, but since uh, Vampire Squid don't show up until 4 o'clock, we're going to wait until 4 o'clock to do the majority of our diving um, on stream so that uh, we can try and find a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Vampire Squid there. Um, hooray. Happy All Friday, right. everyone. Well, Tumblr, Tumblr knows now. Tumblr knows now. Excellent. I'm going to... Um, okay, I'm at the airport. I'm multitasking. I'm going to talk to That's the Dodo okay. Airlines. Well, I'll show people the newest exciting news while you are talking to Dodo. I, I have to open my airport first before you can come over here, Patrick. Oh, okay. <laughs> I guess... <laughs> I guess that's fine. I guess I should have set that up before the stream. You're, you're totally good. I didn't think good. about that. We're not that much of professional gamers. Hey, okay, everybody. everyone. I, I really try. Hey, everybody in the chat. Uh, <laughs> let's um, let's get some let's get some oh, ideas no. for uh, oh, Bafka beans. Bafka stories oh, as well. Beans. If there are any Ooh, particular yeah. topics yeah, you'd yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, for when um, I come over, if there's any any things you think. Oh wait, who is that that you just ran by? Is that a Triceratops? What? Who no. was that that you just? Sorry, that I'm was, on Twitch. It's many that seconds was Flick. back. That was Flick. That was Flick. He's our. I've lizard never friend. seen Flick on my island because I don't play the game enough. <laughs> 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 Apologies, everyone. That's okay. Um, yeah, Flick is here. I've sold him some bugs. Um, but I, I want. Well, first of all, I wanted to apologize because the island is under a little bit of construction right now, and you might notice some some changes in the island, and it's not as beautiful as I wish it was at the moment. Um, but the most exciting news, and a huge shout out to one of our coworkers and uh, one of our really good friends, Joel, uh, because this week we gained a new neighbor from Joel's island. Uh, she moved here because Patrick. I don't know if you remember this but i am on a on a absolute quest to create a, a beautiful penguin island a penguin paradise if you will um so we have a new penguin neighbor uh, sprinkle has moved into our island yay so i was just gonna go go visit sprinkle real quick since she happens to be inside of her house i actually haven't seen inside of her house here yet um so yay we have sprinkle oh look at this magnificent paradise Yes. Oh, it's beautiful. So cool. Uh, yeah, and to, to everybody out there, yeah, uh, I've not played the game nearly enough. I've spent more time trying to figure <laughs> out what the animals are. Um, uh, there's a lot going on on the internet these days. This is a, a time for me to learn. Uh, and so I'll take that <laughs> as a learning moment. I will try to keep my ignorance aside, but I do believe that the contrast between Emily's expertise and my lack thereof is, is really what, what is, provides yeah. the spice of this particular <laughs> stream. And so I really don't think that if I were to know enough about Animal Crossing that you would still get the same experience that you've come to expect, which is Pat falling on his face <laughs> when it comes to the game, but knowing enough about the animals to uh, to make it worthwhile. That is oh. ridiculous. That is ridiculous. I love it. So, Sprinkle, wow. Yeah, so Sprinkle is now on the island, which brings us up to four penguin neighbors so we have four penguins our three octopus 
and then uh, we still have Kid Cat and Chevra um, and Anka, uh, but uh, we will we will see if we can continue our penguin quest here. I don't know if we'll stop at seven penguins or continue to try and get all ten um, because there are ten penguin neighbors and you can have ten neighbors on your island, but. I am reluctant to say goodbye to Zucker, Marina, or Octavian because they are our beautiful mollusk friends, and and I don't know if I could ever say goodbye to them. Um, oh, real quick. Let's see here. Are any of them at home? Nope. Okay. Just kidding. Um, I also may have given our octopus neighbors some octopus friends to live in their houses with them <coughs> what <laughs> what well, you, you know that we we you know you we, know that the ethics of that have <laughs> yet to be settled we have our, our beautiful little octopus friends that we caught from the ocean and i didn't want them to be lonely and so i uh gave gave them to our octopus neighbors you know, I think that's I think that's appropriate. I also don't know how I feel about it. Uh, they had some very interesting uh, responses. Was to... it all variations of Grandma? No. Grandma, is that you? <laughs> no. Uh, oh, okay. Marina, Marina's was the most interesting because she said, "Oh, I've always wanted to learn more about octopus." Oh and no! And I was going like, "But you are an octopus, <laughs> Marina." No. Oh no! no. <laughs> that has heavy implic <laughs> implications for the educational system that we find in, in Animal Crossing. Oh boy! Oh wow. boy! Okay. Talk about erase, like yeah, self erasure. <laughs> All right. No one. All right, can you buy mirrors in Animal Crossing? You can. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. Well. All right, I've just about uh, completed this Instagram story. Hold on, everybody. That's okay. I, I have to get you a dodo code, and I have to uh, make it so that all of a sudden we don't have uh, many, many people trying to, to fly over oh, to uh, our can island you, with the dodo can code. Can you just put up a screenshot <laughs> of something? Uh, yeah, I'm going to put up our, our technical difficulties. Technical difficulties. Um, yeah, that's right, everybody. Y'all thought you were going to come visit the island. Not, to, not today. <laughs> Well, I guess I could do it this way, too, because I invited Dota Code, but only best friends. Um, yeah, so I guess that doesn't really matter. Okay, y'all gonna see the Dota Code, because... Right. It's 6W1HF, Patrick. Wait. Hold on. <laughs> it's okay. We'll hang out here. Okay. We are trying to figure out a way in the future, just so all of you know that uh, we might be able to open up the island, uh, maybe doing a sub only kind of event thing yes. as a thank you to all of you um, using a bit of tech kind of like uh, they use for um, the turnip profit, uh, turnip trade thing. I'm, yep. Words are happening. Yeah. Where it'll only give out the dodo code to a couple of people at a time, so that we aren't uh, overwhelmed with with people so trying the, to come so to the, the island. So the fact that the dodo code is so, up on screen right yeah. now is not a no, because type. I invited only only best friends via dodo code. So <laughs> we should be good. I'm sorry, everybody. I mean, we love you in chat, but Emily and I are, you know, we're tied at the hip now. <laughs> okay. All right, multitasking complete. I've entered the Dodo code. I have Instagram Excellent. storied and posted, so we are good Yay. to go. Yes. Hi, Rold. All right. Oh, I don't know if you noticed the uh, nickname that I made our neighbors call me. Uh, no. The, all of the letters did not fit in it, so it is uh, Circuptergei. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> okay. Right on. I'm on my way, everybody. 
We figured it out. We are professional gamers. It's true. Um, yeah, so for those of you who are like, those are just a whole bunch of consonants next to each other, Emily. Why did you make your neighbors call you that? Um, so uh, the, the, it's supposed to be Sarcoptera GI. So uh, all people, as you know, or you may not know, are truly fish. Uh, we all have inner fish here. Uh, as tetrapods, uh, we are very closely related to a group of fish called the Sarcopterygians, or the lobed fin fishes, uh, which if you have caught a coelacanth in your Animal Crossing game, coelacanths are a lobe finned fish, or a Sarcopterygian, um, just like us. We are, we are Sarcopterygians too, so I wanted to keep that fish connection happening there, uh, so... I made them call us Sarcoptera GI as our nickname. Because why not? <laughs> this is awesome. Oh, people are asking, what item did we get from Pascal? I didn't even look. Oh, is it the recipe? Yeah. Ooh, mermaid screen. Let's... I can hear the pitter patter of your feet. There you are. Hello. Hi. Hello. I'm Hi. here. Hi. You made Hi, it. Hi, everyone. Hey, everybody in the chat. Uh, sorry for that momentary delay in uh, in action packed gameplay, but we're here now on the island where I'm going to run around, Ooh, potentially nice. trample flowers, and uh, generally wreak havoc. So, um, yeah, we're we're back. We're back to the to big time gaming um, here, Woo! and uh, it's good. It's good to be here with everybody. <laughs> Awesome! It. Yay! Uh, and right. I did just I did just want to say, by the way, just uh, thank you everyone for uh, uh, for tuning in to YouTube and on Twitch right now. Uh, thank you so much, everyone, for for being there. Um, someone over on YouTube is mentioning uh, Emily that we should totally do a marine animal costume contest for Dodo Codes to visit, um, Ooh, so the uh, winner would get to come and visit. Oh, That's a good I like idea. that idea. Yeah. Nice. Nice. You're okay. here, buddy. I'm here. Want, what are you going to make? What are you, you going to make? You want to go to the museum? Let's do it. It's this way. Let's do it. Do, 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 do. Chase oh, sorry, after. Marina. Whoa. Goodness. Uh, Emily, I'd like to just offer that maybe over here you could have a uh, squid crossing um, oh, sign. Sorry. Uh, okay. Yeah, I can work over, on that. Over here because yeah, I totally just... Yeah. <laughs> I had a calamar incident, if you know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> oh, no. Sorry, I had to pause running in order to press the pun button. Yeah, we're a little bit yeah. low on puns, but, uh, <laughs> you know, I mean, we ran into each other. She said, you got to be squidding. And I was like, I'm not an octopus over. Uh, and we got into it. But, um, yeah, yeah. Once, you know, when, when the ink is dry on uh, on our on our report, uh, I'm pretty sure the insurance will will go my way. Yeah. <laughs> There we go. We got the puns going. We're back. We're back, everybody. Fully focused on gaming. Whew. All right. To the museum. We're doing good. Oh, and um, uh, we just got a report from, uh, from our intrepid boss, Anne-Marie, letting us know that we're up to 98,000 followers over on YouTube, which oh, is so really awesome. Um, so for those close. of you who are watching on Twitch and, and YouTube, I know that um, there, there can be some beef between platforms, but we're <laughs> here to say that if uh, any of you are able to tell your circles to subscribe to us on YouTube, once we hit 100,000 followers on YouTube, uh, we'll unlock some fundraising tools that'll really help us out uh, while the aquarium is closed to do some cool stuff so if any of you happen to want to subscribe to our youtube channel let your friends know to subscribe uh there's cool animal content there's uh gaming now um and uh lots of fun stuff over there so you know just got to do the whole like subscribe smash those bells uh over on youtube but if we can reach 100k that'll be really good for some fundraising stuff for all of us Yay. um if you do want to support the aquarium we also are seeing there in the twitch chat you can buy some merch over on our website uh, also, if you subscribe on Twitch, those funds go directly to the aquarium as well. So thank you so much, everyone, mm -hmm. for your help. All right, I'm done. Yay. I also put over there in the Twitch chat, too, um, the link to more information about how you can subscribe to our channel using your Amazon Prime account for free. Because that's free money. Uh, where you 
you can support us and we get real money from that and it doesn't cost you any money which is awesome so in case in case you don't know about that twitch prime accounts they're rad okay yeah now i'm Wait, done hold on yeah kai kai is saying over on youtube that pat is a terrible boy but he's our terrible boy and i i <laughs> what 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 is going on oh what is wait. going on over there <laughs> Oh no! Why are why why are you? Uh, well, you I, are a, I, I, I think I think they're just Kai kiting. Boy. Kai is just kiting around. Oh. But uh, that's right. <laughs> Our terrible boy, Pat Scal, your terrible boy, reporting live from the museum. Um, I just wanted to point that out in case anyone wanted to glom on that as a as a meme for this particular uh, for this particular stream. I can be everyone's terrible boy on the live stream. All right. Okay. All right. We've addressed that. In to the aquarium. To the aquarium. <laughs> <laughs> Off we go. Oh, boy. I'm so excited. Pat Scal, the terrible boy. Pat yes. Scal, our yes. terrible boy. <laughs> I'm, I'm loving it. I love that so much. Huh. Wait, where, where are we are going? going? Pat Scal. Pat Scal this way. Which way? This way. This way. I'm so excited to see these animals in here. <gasps> Already. There. Look at them go. That's Whoa, cool. look at the abalone on the window. Look at it go. That's so cool. Look at it crawl. So we should point out that abalone are a made are a massive snail uh, of major importance to the Monterey area. Um and what you're seeing right now is it's creeping along on its crawling foot. They're gastropods. Uh, meaning that they have their foot on their belly. So we're currently looking at the belly of the abalone, leading the with of some beast. of uh, those tentacles there up front, and then a big shell there on the back. That is so cool that they added abalone crawling on the window. That's incredible. Oh, that's so cool. That is so great. Oh, look at it go. Oh, man. And then over on the rock, we've got our, we've got, uh, our, our sea, star sea star hanging out over there. We also have some barnacles down there i wonder if they open hold on pat scoot over just a little bit okay and i will yep. i'll scoot over this zoom way. in yeah are they kicking their legs i don't see them kicking their legs they are not moving okay but we'll give you an idea so if these barnacles uh were in the water and there was a current going past them carrying some delicious little microscopic plankton um that line that you see kind of right in the middle of that opening uh, would expand, open up, and then their little feather-like feet would stick out into the water current, um, kind of wiggle around and catch all of those little plankton. And then they would bring those feet back in and slurp up all of the plankton off of their toes and then stick those feathery bits back out into the water again over and over and over. Um, that is so cool. Emily, can we get yeah. some abalone cam? Abalone cam. Uh, I really liked it when you were zoomed in on the abalone and we were following <laughs> it around. Okay. I feel like we should do like a minute of abalone cam right now. Uh, just to really appreciate uh, these amazing massive snails. We have the largest species of abalone in the world here off of California, the red abalone, um, which was a major fishery up north before there was some ecological damage done with kelp uh having a few bad years in the row due to uh various oceanographic uh events going on out here along the coast from the blob which is a period of hot water uh, about five degrees warmer above average than it should have been for many years uh starting in 2013 um and uh and so the abalone fishery up north has been heavily impacted by that we have a few abalone farms up and down the coast that provide abalone now um, but a uh, critical part of the local economy back in the 1800s with the Chinese uh, fishing community that lived here in Monterey, abalone was a major staple. And then uh, there was a German gentleman that came around and figured out that if you gave abalone the uh, schnitzel treatment of the egg wash with, uh, with the breadcrumbs, then um, it was uh, more appealing to the tourists and um, residents over here than the dried abalone. And uh, Monterey became the abalone capital of the world, basically, for a while. So really a critical uh, member of the local history for bringing people over to the coast and a seafood that has been uh, eaten in Monterey 
for thousands of years mm-hmm. um, with the Ohlone, Esalen, and Rumsian folk, but then made commercially important by uh, the Chinese community that was here starting in the 1800s and then uh, continuing on to this day. So anyway, abalone is super cool. Um, I don't know. If you if we caught five more, we'd have a six-pack of abs. Uh, <laughs> get, get that um, quarantine workout in. And uh, Sarah was just saying over in the Twitch chat that she thinks that this one is a red abalone. Yeah, it so. looks like it with the striation with the of the foot. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it'd be a younger one. Um, yeah, absolutely. And then, um, Emily, can we, can we comment a little bit on what's going on with the sea star there in the back? Yeah. It was just, <laughs> yes, you know, I, I, think... I don't know what it's doing in the back there. No, it is upsetting, but <laughs> it's certainly it's... not a normal behavior that you're seeing there from the, from the star in the back, probably just some game design to let you know that's your sea star that yeah, you, that's uh, that you star found. Yeah, that's your sea star and it's alive and it's moving. But uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, young cute is saying he's just vibing, expanding. Yeah, no yeah. phones in sight, just vibing uh, with that sea star. <laughs> <over there. laughs> um, we do have some new kelp inside of our exhibit here too. We do as well. Yeah, you yeah. want to tell, tell us a little bit about that giant kelp there, Emily? So the giant kelp, I, I assume, is what's over here on. Uh, the left hand side Um, and you can tell just based on the way that its structure is organized where you have this tall long stipe extending all the way up to the surface of the water and then at the base of each one of those blades of kelp so um, when you're talking about algae um, it's not a stem it's a stipe and they're not blades they're are um Sorry, they're not leaves, they're blades. Um, so a little bit of different terminology than what you would use when you're describing like a tree on land or a flower. Um, but again, like Patrick and I always say, language, if it makes sense to you, then you did it right. Yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> so you have those little uh, what look like balloons at the base of each one of those blades of, of the kelp there. Um, those are called pneumatocysts. And pneumatocysts are little air-filled sacs, just like a little balloon, um, that help to keep giant kelp afloat. So uh, each one of those is acting like a little buoy to help keep the kelp uh, standing up straight in the water, um, helping it stay up towards the surface of the water. Um, Number one, because it is still photosynthesizing. So it needs to be up near the surface uh, of the water uh, where the sunlight is in order to grow and and to get all of its nutrients that it needs. Um, So all those little, uh, little tiny uh, dots all along the base of the kelp there are doing just that um keeping that kelp afloat so that it can photosynthesize there um, that's right yeah and and patrick i don't know if you want to talk about the aquarium and specifically why giant kelp is so important to us for sure i can yeah i, I did just want to mention that um those little floats there, little floaty arms on, at the base of each one is what as you were mentioning is booing uh the kelp up to the surface so if those get popped um, then the kelp would start to, mm-hmm. to sink. And if you see a lot of that happening um, and there's a concert going on in the background, you might be listening to Nomada System of a Down. Oh. Uh, so I, just I reluctantly to, pressed the pun button for I that I wanted one. to try that one out <laughs> real quick. Uh, but um, the... <laughs> Yeah, so the the kelp forest exhibit at the aquarium, we were the first uh, exhibit in the world to have a living, growing kelp forest. Uh, and that was largely due to our exhibit designers and biologists thinking like a kelp. Um, and the main thing that you need, as you can kind of see it in the, in the game, there's some water motion. So the yeah. kelp is swaying back and forth. Uh, so kelp needs, as you were mentioning, Emily, some, some sunlight, some good uh, salt water. And we have that in the Monterey Bay. Uh, by keeping the exhibit open and then the water coming in directly from the Monterey Bay. And then uh, the key part really to help the kelp grow is that swaying motion that you're seeing there. So we have a piston that uh, pumps in the kelp forest, moving the kelp back and forth so it can grow. So our kelp grows about four inches in a day. It can grow almost two feet in a day in prime conditions in Southern California. Monterey kelp tends to not grow quite as fast because we tend to have so much more plankton in our water. So it might grow um, about a foot a day, which is no slouch in the growing department. Uh, giant kelp can grow to be almost 200 feet long, uh, growing up in our area from about 70 feet deep. So 
truly, truly amazing uh, plants and a major part of the biodiversity that, that we have here in our area. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, Patrick, there's also this new algae down here, and I wanted to get your opinion uh, uh, on what kind of uh, what kind of algae you think that is. Yeah, you know, hard to know what they were going for. Definitely a type of brown algae. Yeah, um, yeah. If anyone's familiar with uh, with algae found off the coast of Japan, I'm sure that that's probably what was being referenced. But you know, that kind of looks a little bit like. Uh, I mean, in our area, I would say that that's a Desmarestia, which is a, a type of uh, weed commonly known as um, acid kelp because uh, Desmarestia, and there's actually a lot of it in the Monterey Bay at the moment, Desmarestia has a sulfuric acid that uh, grows in its um, in its blades. And uh, you, you're, you learn very quickly never to, um, never to collect uh acid kelp with other kelp because it'll melt your other kelp if it's in the same bag um so it kind of looks like that i don't know uh you know it could it, yeah it's it's uh, definitely a brown alga but uh not familiar with what it might be truly representing there's quite a few algae locally that look kind of like this um but yeah there we go. There you go. Not exactly sure. Brown algae. Uh, by the way, you know, seaweed is commonly uh, what we call uh, brown algae, red algae, and green algae. And sometimes uh, seagrasses get lumped mm -hmm. into the whole seaweed business. Um, but uh, just so you know, brown algae, red algae, and green algae are not super closely related as uh, marine plants. Uh, brown algae more closely related to uh, certain plankton um, that you see out there floating around than they are to uh, the other bushy looking red algae or green algae that you might find. So um, yeah, not exactly sure what kind of kelp that is, but certainly beautiful. And we love us uh, some yeah. kelp. If you've got kelp in your exhibit, uh, a plus from Monterey Bay Aquarium. Yeah. Unlike the, the group of, uh, uh, of, of algae that uh, brown algae belongs to, which is phaophyta, which means mm -hmm. the ugly algaes. Um We disagree right. pick, wholeheartedly. Pick your... <laughs> Pick your phaophyta um, between the red algae. That's a, that's a <laughs> solid pun. There you go. Um, the other thing, uh, some brown algae previously, I don't know if this is still a, an, a, an accurate group name, but there used to be the heteroconophytes. Um, and if you're trying to keep algae secret, uh, it would be like having them in heteroconophyte club because the first rule of heteroconophyte club would be to not talk about heteroconophyte club if you're trying to keep your brown algae secret. That was... Uh, I thought the pinnacle of humor in college uh, and still to this day, still to that's, this day. That's okay. The pinnacle of humor in college that, that I thought was when my ichthyology professor signed all of his emails, best fishes. Um, <laughs> that's the best. Yeah. And um, oh, over on YouTube. Uh, and by the way, Kai uh, wanted to say that the reason that uh, I'm a terrible boy is because I ran over those, uh, those plants and I agree. No, oh, I, yeah. I, I, I never, <laughs> never live that down. That is, yeah, no, totally. No, so that is canon. He has, he has stolen no. pears. He has no, ran leaning, through my flowers and leaning, leaning into it. No, so thank you, Kai. <laughs> um, uh, no, I absolutely love it. I, no worries. Uh, yeah. But then, um, yeah, we have uh, we have Fruit Bat mentioning <laughs> over on on YouTube as well that uh, you got to have a really good team water quality working with blathers to have this yeah. kind of kelp in there, right, Emily? Absolutely, yeah. Um, and thank goodness that we have the team water quality that we have at the aquarium. They're amazing. They do so much to make sure that all of the animals and the algae inside of the aquarium has uh, just what it needs to to live its best life. So, um, so shout out to, to team water quality. Team water quality. Oh, team water quality. Yeah, team water quality. Uh, TWQ. <laughs> TWQ. Everybody. Oh, TWQ. We need, we need to have chat. like we need to have team water quality merch at some point uh, we do. If, yeah we, we need to make yeah we need to make that happen um but we love team water quality uh they do amazing stuff so uh we're really lucky um to be right on the monterey bay and to be able to bring water from the bay into the aquarium but even then uh team water quality has to do so much to make sure that the water is is just right <gasps> for the animals patrick 
Mola Tecta is baby just subscribed with Twitch Prime. We have a hoodwinker <laughs> sunfish is amazing. baby. Amazing. That has just subscribed via Twitch Prime. Thank you so much, newly discovered sunfish species that's, subscribing. That we the are best. We're, we're we're so legit. We're so legit now. Oh my god. Oh, and we've got Anana's gifters gifting subs over on Twitch. We just got a hype train, everybody. Choo choo all aboard. Oh my god. The hype train. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for all those gifted subs for all the people I, I just saw uh subscribing with the the, pri the prime subscriptions over there on Twitch too. Yay. Wow. Amazing. Thank you so much. Um, oh. this is, this is so great. Uh, okay. So now maybe some, some, uh, kelp facts for, uh, for the folks. So now that we're standing over here, Emily, yes. um, and you see that brown algae in the background, I want to go with, it's a type of laminaria, uh, laminarial. Okay. And I also love yeah. our blue swimming crab yeah. that is currently. I am in out. love with our blue swimming crab. That's incredible. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they call him flapper flapper. Um, I don't know if that's a, an appropriate name for it, for a blue swimming crab. We, we should name the crab in a sec. But I believe that the kelp in the background is going to be some type of laminaria because you can see how it's sticking up off of the bottom with that woody stalk. And that would be the type of kelp that forms an understory in our local uh, area. So there's a canopy, uh, which is your first story. And then you've got a sub canopy um, with the understory. And so um, there's a few different species we have locally. One would be Pterygophora, the other would be Isenia, and then a three different species of Laminaria that have that woody stipe there. This one, if it was a local species here in the Monterey Bay, that would be a Pterygophora, um, a, uh, also known as a Northern Sea Palm is what we would call that one if it was locally. Uh, it's not exactly that. Um, but, uh, yeah, we're just going to yeah. go with that. Oh my goodness. Look at all these gifted subs. We just hit oh my gosh. 100%. Oh my gosh. I looked away two for like train. two Incredible. seconds and oh my gosh. Thank you so much. That's so great. Thank you so much, everyone, for that support. And again, when you support, uh, the aquarium here on, on Twitch and on YouTube, you are directly supporting the aquarium while, uh, while we don't have our visitors there. So thank you so much, everyone. Yeah. That's really incredible stuff. Oh my goodness, this hype train stands no chance. <laughs> it's already at a level four. We're already at level four. Halfway, hype train, everybody. Yeah, let's keep it. Let's keep it going. Past that level four there. Um. Uh. Well, maybe I can point out in the chat just while we have that that swimming crab there in the background. If any of you ever saw a video of an octopus hunting a crab that then gets eaten by. Uh, a seal, <laughs> the crab that was being hunted was a swimming crab um, that, that you see right there. They're a little bit more common down in Southern California, but swimming crabs, uh, absolutely yeah. delicious as far as human consumption. But uh, if oh. you ever saw that video of uh, octopus hunting a crab, then gets eaten by a seal, that was a swimming crab in that video. Nice. And if Incredible. you've ever, look yeah. at that. If you've Look ever gone this. down to uh, Baja, California, or over there in the Gulf of California, um, these are very, very common down there. I know that when I yeah, used to take uh, students down there, when I used to do research down there, we would find these crabs all the time. And um, fun fact, they hurt if they pinch you. <laughs> Real oh, bad. Is that is that it's is that very okay. hard to get them off of your fingers if they, they go. get a good grip on them. Can we also it I really it, I don't know if there's anyone who's good at animation there in the background but could we add little drumsticks to it and a drum kit because that's <laughs> kind of what it looks like it's doing. I just want like a little steel drum to be just that's underneath amazing. it. Oh, Emily, did you have the the photo that we got from Twitter for later on in the oh. chat not right away. Um no, I work I'll I'll work on that while Yeah, you. we'll get that later. Yeah. Later. Uh while we got the we got the emote we did it. Incredible. <laughs> this is so good. Thank you. So, oh, we're at 117% of the level five hype train over on Twitch. That's what I, yeah. Oh, it would look like Bongo Cat is what at Fruit Bat is saying. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Drum crab goes to the crab rave, <laughs> is what Mecca Dude is saying. This is, I could honestly just watch this, and especially the hammerhead shark that comes by every so often. <laughs> just hey. red snapper in the background wondering if we're all just. There's also a, a lurking octopus in the background, too. I don't know it's if true. you noticed it. Yeah. Yeah. 
That's so great. And then just for the halibut, a flatfish swims by. Uh, honestly, kudos to the Animal Crossing team. This is really like such an incredible addition. Oh, and also, I mean, we would be remiss if we didn't point out um, that we also have our tunicate friend, the sea pineapple, uh, down That's there hanging true. out. Hold on, I'll move as the... a representative of the of the Euro core dates. There we go. Very good job there, sea pineapple, making Ascidians proud. Ooh. I don't know if I'm a fan of that animation. No, it, that's a little harsh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, if you are asking about the ocean sunfish, yeah, the ocean sunfish is over on Punnery Row at the moment, uh, not here on Monte Ray Bay Island. So uh, Baby Wheel, our good Mola Mola, is over on Punnery Row, but hopefully we'll find guaca very soon. Our guacamola, it would be. The Lurking Octopus would be a great band name. Jessica over on YouTube is saying, I agree. Ooh, yes, 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 I yes. I agree. Uh, oh, my goodness. Okay, so uh, while we're, I mean, okay, we're looking at the sea pineapple. We should point out that it does a really good job of having the in-current and ex-current siphons visible uh, and it showing off its life. Um, so these animals are filter feeding on the seafloor, and they have the water coming in that top siphon, which is the in-current siphon. Then it goes into a pasta strainer, uh inside their body um that then filters out plankton and then shoots out the water out of the x current siphon they see there over on the right so really good job on the uh on the biology the animation is rather distressing but we also do get to see on the back the sawfish that's just hanging out um <laughs> just which, just chilling you, on the ground there you know yeah. we came we came to the aquarium and we saw a fish <laughs> We're going to, every stream, there's going to be a Veni Vidi Vici reference. <laughs> we came, we saw fish. <laughs> All right, Emily, what's what's going on uh, on so, your end? Are you, work, are you working, working on that on, image? Or? Yeah, I'm working on the image. Okay, yeah, here, all right. Patrick, I'll keep, talk I'll keep about tunicates. Keep on going. I'll keep, I'll keep talking about tunicates. Okay, so they're also sometimes known as sea squirts, which is something that Blathers mentions because they do have water in them, and when you grab them and handle them, they might... Uh, squeeze down and shoot water at people. Um, if you do find a sea squirt in the wild, please just leave them alone. No poking necessary um, because uh, it is actually very energy intensive for them to squeeze uh, water out uh, as a defense. So um, that, there are also known as sea squirts, though. Uh, so, um, oh, so Willem Tan is pointing out uh, it's a saw shark and not a saw fish. My apologies. Yes, yes, saw shark not a sawfish hype train success uh level four incredible thank you so much everyone choo choo all aboard that hype train we did it um yes thank you villam over on uh youtube for pointing out yes uh not a sawfish a saw shark hanging out there uh in the back um but yeah, so uh, tunicates that we're looking at right here, the sea pineapple, as they're calling this particular species, very, very common. This one is what would be known as a solitary tunicit because it's got the one in-current siphon, the one ex-current siphon, and it's all set up right uh, by itself. But there are also colonial tunicates where just take the Photoshop clone tool and just copy this same animal over and over and over and then connect them uh, all together. And you end up having really, really dazzling colonies of tunicates carpeting rocks, uh, especially out here in the Monterey Bay. Um, it's very hard to tell the difference between tunicates and sponges when you're looking at them, but the biggest difference is that sponges tend to have random assortments of, uh, of holes and openings on them, whereas tunicates tend to have uh, a much more defined pattern to them. Uh, and often you can see up close, if you look closely, <clears throat> excuse me, many individuals will share the same X current siphon. So if you kind of are able to get close and get a good look at them, you can start noticing them. And then also if you're a field diver uh, doing a scientific survey, when you uh, push on a sponge, it feels spongy. Uh, but when you push on a tunicate, it feels rubbery and has uh, less give. It, um, it kind of pushes back at you. Uh, so tunicate sponges are really common out here in the Monterey Bay and all around the world. They're really in, uh, important animals. and when you've seen uh, the nudibranch that we have in Animal Crossing as well. Nudibranchs are one of those animals expertly adapted to eating things like tunicates. 
and sponges and bryozoans and hydroids, uh, things that are usually very carpeting, very nauseous, very untasty to other organisms. But uh, I'm sure that there is a tunicate that enjoys eating this particular type. Uh, sorry, a nudibranch that enjoys eating this particular type mm -hmm. of tunicate. Uh, it's very common that sea slugs are predators on these things. Um, and out in the Monterey Bay, some of the more common uh, tunicates that you're going to see at this current moment are big, big growths of light bulb tunicates uh, that are out in the Monterey Bay. And light bulb tunicates are delicious fare for flatworms and nudibranchs. Uh, you see a lot of that happening in the Bay right now. So uh, some of these are seasonal. Some of them grow a lot. Um, yeah. All right. Uh, yep. Sorry, Patrick. The, the screen got a little dark there for a second because my my switch was going to sleep. And I, I no worries. Yeah, same same on my side um, uh, over here. But the good news is that I have the picture ready. <gasps> Wait, Marina Walinski caught a vampire huh? squid over on on yes. YouTube well, during this stream. Okay, that's good news. Yes, okay, this is let's, good let's luck. see. Okay, so we're going to check photo. out this photo. It's incredible. It's amazing. It is just holy mola it's so good it's so good it's so good it's the greatest it's the greatest fan art i mean we've received amazing fan art i'm sorry i don't want to rank the fan art it is just an incredible moment captured we love, is what we I love all say. of the fan art that you guys send us uh so please never stop sending yeah any fan art to us but amazing look at it it's so good so they shout out to Sarah. uh yeah. Shout out to Karen Guo, uh, Guo. I'm not sure how to pronounce, but Kraken Goo over on Twitter sent this. She's been a big fan of our Twitch um, and uh, got the Mola moment there, immortalized with Sarah uh, and Emily and myself there on the pier, uh, it's finding so our Mola. Wonderful. The look of just pure wonder and joy on all of our faces. So good. So keep so sending good. us. You can DM us on it's Twitter, so on Instagram, on Facebook, uh, wherever. Um, you know, send us send us those photos. We absolutely <laughs> love them. This is incredible. Thank you for that one. Yes, it's so wonderful. Okay. I will. Okay. So should we leave and go look for vampire squid now, Emily? Uh, yeah, I think that sounds What's like a thought? good plan. Or wait, let's go look at the moon jellies. Oh, yeah, we gotta look at the moon jellies first. Okay. Yes! Look at them! Yes! Look at them! I want to do a little moon jelly dance. It's the full moon jelly dance floor. Uh, if it's a full moon jelly dance floor, then you never have to ask where it is. Right? <laughs> full moon where 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 yeah and if you were uh, a mola eating an entire moon jelly if in one in one go at a specific location that'd be a werewolfing of well, moon jelly so so patrick i'm i'm l i'm liking this uh, moon jelly exhibit hey hey hey, hey. okay <laughs> nice i don't think there's a silver bullet to save us from these puns but uh this is awesome <laughs> um, by the way, this would be an absolute nightmare for an actual aquarium to have. Yes. Um, for those of you folks out there wondering why you don't see more exhibits where uh, you walk on top of the animals, it's because that acrylic would get absolutely destroyed within uh, just a few hours of a heavy foot traffic day. So um, if any of you out there are materials engineers and you can come up with a clear substance that is uh, uh, very cheap uh, and also doesn't scratch at all, um, you would be able to make aquariums yeah. uh, really pretty incredible. But this is not, I'm sure that if our exhibits team is watching this particular live stream, they're seeing us walk around and run back and <laughs> forth and yeah. absolutely horrified. You've got boots on. I, I'm in bare feet, so I'm a little bit safer right now. Oh, yeah, no, this. I am scuffing. You this are. Up. Yeah. Uh, I, again, my... <laughs> I'm, I'm Pat Scal, your terrible boy. A rat Scal. <laughs> All right. Oh, look. The whelk gets its own little exhibit. <laughs> well, so over here is where like the sea butterflies and stuff would be. But the whelk is in here. There's a scallop in here and a sea urchin in here. But it's see how this whelk, little... it looks like this whelk has its own little classroom. It's the whelk of knowledge. <laughs> nice. Oh, look at the garden There's eels. Lawrence. Oh, oh, so cute. Yay. And we got Wow. This... And it really filled out the other side of the exhibit, it too. It really did. 
Oh. So if you yeah, run past the garden eels, do they hide or do they just hide all the time? They go they down. Hide. They just hide on a timer. That's cool. Yeah. Oh, that's so awesome. We've got the little anemone that our clownfish is swimming through now. Oh, that is yay. a happy little, that is a happy Nemo over there. Frond of that anemone. Oh, it looks like we got the urchin <gasps> hanging out there too. Patrick, did you see? On the what rock? Did I, what? Enhance! Okay, you, you're standing right in front of it uh, oh. on, on camera. Ah! <laughs> Enhance! I'm out of the way. What are we looking at? On the rock, right there. I'm on a delay. I can't see what you're zooming in on. Is it our new to brank friend? It's our new to brank friend. It's our new to brank friend. So I, I last time I said it was a Chromodorus. I am wrong. It was a Hypsilodorus. Hips. As far as I know. Okay. But it's a Doris, and not an Aeolid. It, it would is. be awesome if they added an Aeolid. That would be so cool. Our little shrimp friend is up on the reef there too. I didn't even <gasps> notice that. Look at the ribbon eel. Oh, that's so cool. Great job, Animal Crossing, just from a marine oh. scientist and ocean lover to all y'all out there working so hard in this game. This is really awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I'm honestly having such a good time just looking at this right now. This is pretty much what you see in Indonesia when I was out there diving. Yeah. Uh, awesome stuff. So cool. Uh, can we get some W? Uh, can we get some W's in the chat for uh, Animal Crossing and uh, bringing... Uh, wildlife to all of us while we have to stay at home truly appreciate it yeah. good job everyone uh oh look at there go the w's awesome <sighs> this is so great emily but it i is. think i'm looking at the time i think um, it's vampire squid time vampire squid time nice you know a little dab of a little time. looking at the time a little dab of vampire squid is yeah. what we are looking for now Oh, and we okay. should enjoy swimming crab just a little bit more. Yeah, I was just going to. There we go. Okay. What were you doing? I was just looking at the fish. The okay. flat fish that was right there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, I ran into the wall. Pro gamer. Pat Scal, you're a terrible boy. <laughs> On the way to go find a vampire squid. I'm so excited. I'm going to see if I can nail my front flip into the water right away. Okay. Oh, and uh, we've got someone uh, got someone wondering about GG Guppy. We'll be working on GG Guppy. Yeah, as a uh, as an emote. Yeah, so I was yep. thinking GG Guppy and Bafka for new emotes. Um, I have some time carved out next week to work on those. Okay. Which I, I which part of the world did boy. you go? To the to the to the right. There you are. Where am I? Right there. I don't see you. Hello. Oh hi. Hi. Okay. Whoa! You jumped over the rock. I was not over it. I was on the rock, but I was. Wait. How do you do it again? How do you? You do have to uh, press B and run. And then yes. press A. There you go. Oh, I didn't catch it on stream, but everybody knows. Everybody knows that you got it. No, I'm getting out. <laughs> okay. I'm getting out. I'll nobody saw over. my, nobody saw my over flip on so stream. That everybody can see it. Nobody saw my flip on stream. I okay. My flip on okay. Stream. Now do it. There oh, you yeah. Go. That's what's up. Yay. That's right, everyone. Pat's Pro Gaming <laughs> <laughs> coming at you. What I get? I got you a scallop. You got a scallop too. Yay. Yay. It ought to be savored. This is awesome. Oh, look at all oh my goodness. I just looked up to see the chat with all of the all tens. The tens. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're the best. We love chat. <laughs> yeah. Um, if we can figure out a way of getting Tony Hawk Pro Skater uh, marine biology content mix up I because the remake... <laughs> The remake of one and two looks absolutely <laughs> awesome. I thought you were just going to end that sentence with, yeah, if we can get Tony Hawk on stream, that'd be we great. We should get Tony Hawk on stream. <laughs> I don't know. 
I don't know what he's up to, but <laughs> what's the, all right, people? We what are build what's Tony Hawk up to these do days? Some sweet moves. I got it. You got it. It's Booyah! A crab. Swimming crab. Oh, those little. Oh, Gazami, Gazami crab is what. Yeah, they, they call, call it, it a game. Gazami crab, but we all know. We all know what it is. It's drummer crab. Oh yeah, someone's mentioning in the chat that Tony Hawk is often mistaken as someone who looks like Tony Hawk. Yeah, his Twitter is really <laughs> his <good>. delightful. <laughs> his yes. Twitter is really fun. All right, we're we're currently doing some divide and conquer. Emily, I think is uh, okay. The proper. Oh, come on. I got it. It was swimming away from me. <gasps> oh, do you have a mantis shrimp yet? <gasps> no. Okay, I'm over mantis in the back. Mantis buddy. I'll leave it up. Oh, look at it. Yeah. Yeah. We got a mantis shrimp. Oh, that's so cool. This is a peacock oh, mantis shrimp yeah, as well. Sure the very, very is. famous one. The one that uh, <laughs> one that famously uh, Matt Inman over at the Oatmeal, friend of the aquarium, immortalized yeah. as uh, the, what was it? The, the, the murderous rainbow shrimp. Uh, <laughs> I forget exactly what his term was for for uh for a mantis shrimp a mantis shrimp really an amazing amazing uh animal um not technically a shrimp uh as far as being closely related to the other shrimp that we may have seen already on a uh, stream it's a stomatopod is the type of uh organism that we have here and i gotta tell you emily that i am so glad that i there's a digital representation of myself currently holding up this mantis shrimp like so because this would not end well for my fingies uh, in real life if I was attempting <laughs> no. to do this. No, it would not. Yeah. Uh, Emily, you want to tell us some mantis shrimp facts for the folk? Um, I mean, we all know it better as a thermonuclear bomb of light and beauty. There it was. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, yeah, I... Oh gosh there are so many cool mantis shrimp facts it's very hard to know where to start um okay should we start with its eyes i feel like that's a good whoa wait good one to emily start with. are yeah? you reading the chat oh no hold on Appar apparently if you so i can't place this on the island while while you're there but we need to remember this uh if you place it on the island with a tank and you interact with it it'll break its tank Apparently, That's amazing. from the chat. Um, I have also been seeing. I don't know. I don't know how uh, deep into the Animal Crossing memes you uh, you go, Patrick. But uh, you can also get a deep sea isopod uh, when you're s out swimming That's around. Right. And all of the memes of people putting their little deep sea isopods and placing them around their island, doing different things because they kind of like lean up and over their little tanks um absolutely amazing just yes. 12 out of 10 to all of you doing all of those memes right now with the isopod just to let you know that i see them i love them and i appreciate all of you um they are incredible um, um <laughs> yeah i mean that that little aspect is just so great uh of them and uh yeah someone in the chat was also saying that true facts about the mantis shrimp by ziff frank is awesome as well yeah, yeah. ziff frank another friend of the aquarium another friend he did some true facts about the cuttlefish uh with us back in the day yeah you can't um but yeah i mean so uh this mantis shrimp uh they their eyes are some of the most uh incredible adaptations to use the visual spectrum that we'll see anywhere in the animal kingdom they have um, basically three different parts of their eye with a separate focal point. So they have hexanocular vision, uh, trinocular vision, which was with just one eye. So they have depth perception with just one single eye. Uh, they have more color receptors than we do in our eyes. So we're not entirely sure what it is that they are seeing, but um, you can see the little paddles up around its eyes, which are the pink parts up there. Those paddles uh, have patterns on them that would allow them to communicate with other mantis shrimp with a secret visual uh, communication that other fish and other organisms might not be able to pick up on at all. So they're brilliantly colored. They're, they use their eyes uh, in incredible ways. We have some videos on our YouTube that you can go check out of uh, 
mantis shrimp that we have at the aquarium and this one is a uh, a a thumper uh there are uh spearers as well or clubber rather mm-hmm. Um, so, uh, this one's the one that, that goes clubbing, uh, with the moon jellies that we just danced with. Um, and they, so the, their clubs can shoot forward, uh, so quickly that they create a bubble, um, when on impact in the water that collapses on yeah. itself, which is known as cavitation. And that cavitation bubble, um, causes a secondary shock wave when it collapses on itself from the original impact and the cavitation bubble collapses on itself so quickly it can produce its own light and uh, that light um, and the temperature at the center of that captation bubble momentarily is hotter than the surface of the sun. Mm-hmm. Uh, so no big deal, you know, just kind of casual, <laughs> casual shrimp yeah. biomechanics, you know? Yeah. Nothing really to write home about or no. get too overly excited about. No. No. <laughs> Emily, are you familiar uh, with the story of Sparky, the mantis shrimp? At the aquarium. At the aquarium? Yeah. Yeah. Would yeah. you like to tell some sure. folks maybe about Sparky the mantis shrimp that everyone can go and look up as well? <laughs> so S- Sparky the mantis shrimp is a mantis shrimp that we did not know that uh, we had <laughs> when uh, when Sparky the mantis shrimp uh, first arrived at the aquarium. Um, this happens occasionally with uh, some some animals at the aquarium. Some of you might have heard of uh of octopus uh coming into the aquarium that uh, should not have been at the aquarium um but uh, occasionally uh this this also happens with with other animals as well um including sparky um so sparky here um was discovered uh because <laughs> Uh, not because someone spotted it, uh, but because we spotted um, the remains of uh, broken shells and uh, other things uh, inside of an exhibit. Uh, And we noticed that animals were starting to go missing, like hermit crabs and barnacles and snails and things like that. Um, And so uh, thanks to a couple of our (laughs) aquarists, uh, they finally figured out that, hey, something's in there that's probably eating these animals. Um, And uh, it happened to be a mantis shrimp. Uh, So um, every now and then we get shipments of what are called live rock to the aquarium. Um, And live rock is is either... um, rock from from the wild or pieces of coral from other zoos and aquariums or from the wild as well um, that can be collected under very special permits um, that uh, we use. They have uh, special bacteria on them. They have special things on these pieces of live rock that help benefit um, our aquaria. Uh, so every now and then we get pieces of live rock in there and every now and then there are animals hiding uh, in that rock that we don't notice uh, when we when we first put that rock in there. Um, so Sparky there, Sparky was a, a wonderful, wonderful, delightful discovery that then had to be relocated to yeah. a new <laughs> exhibit uh, very quickly so that it would stop eating all of the hermit crabs and barnacles and snails and and all of its wonderful neighbors <laughs> inside yeah, of that exhibit. Spark- Sparky yeah. was put in timeout. Yeah. Uh, but made national news. <laughs> it did. <laughs> And wasn't it like uh, I can't remember was it Washington or New York Times or one of I those? I think it was on CNN. CNN. Yeah, back in two thousand and five. Yeah, so. it was a uh, yeah national news when Sparky was discovered at the aquarium. But yeah, uh, but really now we have it. yeah now we have a dedicated home for any mantis shrimp that, that and Sparky is not still around no. though. In no. case, uh, yeah, Sparky has long since ascended to. Uh, um, praying mantis shrimp uh, areas, <laughs> I suppose. Uh, they don't live a very uh, long amount of time, but Sparky did enjoy a little bit of time at the aquarium uh, many years ago. Oh my goodness, incredible. Um, Amazing. Excuse me. Uh, <coughs> Emily. Yeah. There was a great idea from Kai over uh, on YouTube about having, um, just tangential to this, a. Uh, a hashtag for uh, folks to tag us in their fan art Ooh. so that we can we can see it. And I was thinking hashtag A-C-S-E-A fan art. Hashtag, right? So like Animal Crossing. Oh, okay. 
but A C yeah fan A S E A fan art. Yes, I was thinking that. Okay, I like that. Um, so I think if if y'all use this hashtag, uh, we'll make sure to load it up on our tweet deck. Now, and should it be any... A C fan art or should it be A C fan art? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, let me we, get take rid of that. we take it back. We take it back. We take everything back. Take it back. We take it back. How do I delete? <laughs> uh, Erase your memory from. I can delete. I can actually delete that okay. one. A C fin. Right? Can I? No, I can't. Oh God. Art. Okay. A C fin art. A C fin art. Good idea, Kai. Yeah. So uh, we'll yeah, use yeah, that. A C fin art for uh, for sending us stuff over on on the tweets. Um, I'm gonna put this mantis shrimp away. Um, so Into your breathe. pocket there, a very safe place for a mantis shrimp. Very to be, safe I'm place sure. for mantis shrimp. Um, I've actually seen peacock mantis shrimp in the wild, Emily, uh, over in Indonesia, and I actually saw one, a female that was brooding her eggs. It's really oh. incredible. They have bright uh, pink, pinkish red eggs, and the females will hold on to them. I also saw a pink mantis shrimp, not a peacock mantis shrimp, that came, like, literally crawled out, stared at me, looked up into my eyes at my camera over at my dive buddy looked back at me again and then <laughs> ran back into its lair like you could definitely <laughs> tell that it was just like hey what's all the commotion okay i see the camera i see the human i see the dive buddy right on photographers proceed it was really an incredible <laughs> moment <laughs> of, of bonding with a shrimp a stomatopod at depth i love it and lick the cow happy. That's such a confusing hashtag. Absolutely. That's how we know no one else is going to be using it yeah. and co-opting <laughs> it. <laughs> it's the only kind of hashtags we use. Yep. Oh, my goodness. Emily, this was so great. We found a mantis shrimp. We did. But now we must find a vampire squid. This isn't going to be it. It's going to be grapes. Yep. See grapes. Why don't you whine about it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> See, even we have standards, kind of. Sea pineapple. Oh, got a sea pineapple. Who lives in a sea pineapple under the sea? Oh, who can get there first? Who's gonna make it? I'm gonna make it. <laughs> dun, 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 no, dun, I'm dun, not gonna dun, make dun, it. You're dun, gonna dun, make dun, it first. Dun, but it's, it's Pat. No, it's yeah. Slurpee Emily. No. Yeah. Boo. Yeah. <laughs> oh, come on. More octopus to give to my neighbors. <laughs> come on. Hey. Will they accept chicken. multiple ones? That's the question. What? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, it's totally fine. Whatever. Uh, chicken Jordan Blue. Uh, I love that name. <laughs> That's so saying, good. <laughs> uh, in the chat. I've been watching archive videos. First time in the chat. Both inspired by my own science. Animal Crossing stream. Focus on the flower genetics. Might do it again. Do we have any streaming tips? Emily, what are some streaming tips? Um, uh, you might be able to share. I think everybody in the chat knows that the streaming tips is just <laughs> go with whatever is going to break and don't let it define your, at your least, existence. Yeah, every stream, at least one thing is going to break. Um, and uh, that's okay. Um, two, apparently you don't have to be very good at playing games to actually stream them. Um, that's That's the number one thing that Patrick and I have learned. Uh, since we started uh, our our journey to become hashtag pro gamers, um, what other things have we learned? Um, that the people who tune into your streams are the best, and they're that, the best. Yeah, that chat is a wonderful, wonderful community of human beings, and that if you can find a couple of those human beings who uh, want to help you on your journey to become hashtag pro gamers. Um, like we have with Celestina and Sarah as our mods. Then yes. They are people that you should hang on to and love forever because they're amazing. So a whole bunch of W's in the chat for our two mods. Yes. Uh, Celestina and, and Sarah and um, a couple of folks who um, we've been talking to about helping us out uh, mod over on YouTube now that we're going to mod over or now that we're going to mod now that we're yeah. going to be streaming over on YouTube more. 
Yeah, I, I wanted to give a shout out um, <clears throat> beyond our, our amazing, amazing mods to editor Deb for, for mm -hmm. reaching out and to at Fruitbat, who's currently doing moderation over on, yeah. on the YouTube chat. Thank you so amazing. much. Yep. Um, Y'all are the best. Uh, Emily, I have a slate pencil urchin. Did we talk about that at all? You know, we caught one, but we didn't talk about it. Um, we, okay, Marco. Polo. Uh, um, it, well, uh, I mean, maybe let's here. Let's let's save time to look for a vampire squid. Uh, slate seat. slate pencil urchins are really oh, uh, no. awesome urchins. They have uh, very thick spines on them. Um, there are also some urchins that where their spines just kind of make them look like they have hard hats uh on them uh so just the the variety of spines that you'll find on on sea urchins I, I was over talking to blathers and he said that the spines are venomous and that's the case for some species mm -hmm. not all species not all. although yeah. if you ever do step on a local urchin you can give yourself a nasty infection because their spines are covered in skin um and so you get some of that biology uh broken off in you and some of my friends still have their urchin spines in them after over a decade oh, no, of thank you. since stepping on uh stepping on an urchin oh this one's fast <laughs> but i'm faster okay are you further to the left then uh i'm more to the right more i believe i caught a pearl oyster though nice. everybody nice now, if any of you know how a, a pearl is made in an oyster, uh, there's a, a little piece of sand or other detritus that gets into the shell, and then they form a knacker uh, over it to try to protect themselves from the intrusion. And so um, when you're looking at a pearl oyster, and the pearl there is actually a piece of... Um, it, yeah, it's just a, a covering of the same type of material that the shell is made out of that the animal secretes to get um, to help cover up that particular um, bit of uh, irritant inside their inside their shell. So people who try to make pearls uh, will sometimes put a little piece of sand into the pearl oyster on their own. Um, but you also have some uh, oysters that you'll uh, some pearls you'll find on the bottom of abalone shells where you might have a clam that was boring down into the shell of the abalone and then they um uh the abalone ends up making a little pearl there around it too and there was a question about mother of pearl um on the inside of the abalone shell a little bit earlier when we were talking about the abalone and that mother of pearl is that iridescent beautiful mm -hmm. bottom to the shell and uh the mantle of the animal is what is secreting the shell and creates those pearls there with uh with that quote unquote mother of pearl. That's where the term comes from is you can, you have that mantle secreting the shell and might create a pearl um, if there's an irritant in there as a defense mechanism. Voila. Nice that's my job. pearl oyster talk. That's a good pearl oyster talk. Um, hey, Emily, is there hey, anything Patrick. weird going on with uh, the audio on your end? Oh, no. It looks good in OBS on my end. Um, can you talk, Patrick? Yeah, I'm talking. Uh, seems like there might be connectivity uh -oh. issues for some folks that are watching. Uh, oh, it okay. looks like it. Oh, okay. okay. Audio is good. good on mobile. Okay. All right. Okay. Thanks, Phew. everyone. Thank you. Uh, we were having audio issues last time. So last time... A little behind the scenes sneak peek here of our pro gamer setup is that last time I tried to have uh, this setup working for us and we were having audio issues. And so I had to give up on my dreams and then go back to our old streaming <laughs> setup. Um, Emily was very sad last, I was, last time. I was very sad last stream right before we started. Um, uh, and so we got it fixed today. Um, and so this is our first stream using the new stream setup. So... Uh, like I, I said before, there's always something that's going to break during a stream. And since it's a new setup, I just don't know what it is that's going to break. So um, so uh, if, if something is, is weird, let us know. I did see that we dropped a couple of frames a few minutes ago. Um, so hopefully I got that fixed there. It looks like it's been clear for the last like 15 minutes or so. 
uh, with no dropped frames, but um, I apologize if it was a little bit weird before. All good. I am currently uh, releasing some of the organisms that I've already collected. Uh, I was just looking at my pockets. Okay, I still have some room. You still got some room? Yeah. On our search for our vampire squid here. Okay. Yeah, because I yeah gotta gotta do some gotta do some work here. <laughs> this is actual I, gaming. Yeah, I mailed you the stuff going. that you left on the island last. Time. I did, yeah, and I just threw it on the ground outside. The Again, oh. I'm a uh, yeah. You know, I have my way of organizing. You have your way of organizing. <laughs> I leave all my stuff That's... on the ground, and then I just hope none of the <laughs> other people pick it up. <laughs> and then you just wait for me to mail it to you. Um, yeah, because I can't store it anymore today. I realized that I ran out of storage in my house, so that's you a, did? that's a problem. Yeah, so I'll figure that out. I'll I'll I'll, I'll clean some things out. We'll get it working again. Um, so vampire squids should sh should have shown up about forty five minutes ago. So. There's a good chance that we'll still be able to find one, but knowing us, it might take another two and a half hours. <laughs> knowing us, well, it's going to take us another two and a half streams to get there. Oh. Unless? No. That was just me going oop because I pressed Y way too, way too soon. Okay. Well, you let's know, see. It, in my continuous. Whoa, this one's fast. Oh. This one's fast. Oh, where are you? You're over by my house, aren't you? No, I'm over by the top of the map. Oh, well. Oh, that one swam really, really fast. <gasps> Emily! Did you Emily! Get it? No! Emily! No! Hold on. Okay. Hold on. Emily! Up to. Uh, uh, I'm near the top of the map on the complete other side of the island, but. Uh, <laughs> I have a thing! I have a thing! You always get all the cool stuff, bro. Emily, I have a thing. I'm coming. Wait, on the opposite side of the map? Opposite side of the map. Okay. Uh, Like, complete. Complete opposite side? Yeah, so like if you were okay. to be at the museum. Please and don't judge my flowers. Down. They're messy, uh, and I'm running through them. Uh, Emily? Yeah? I have a thing. <laughs> uh, I'm yeah, so um, I don't know. I kind of want to walk real slow over there. Pro, pro <laughs> gamer, pro gamer moves happening in, in the Pat camp. Uh, Pat Scal, your terrible boy, is recovering. Uh, okay, I don't see you. Uh, so museum, and then water, and then right, or like where? Where's that beach? Where's the beach that has the little? Um, uh, there's a little sandcastle yeah. on it. Oh, there you... Oh, I can see it. I can see it in the distance. Can you see it? I can. Do you see it? I do. <sighs> ah, I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, well, I'm not inviting you over to my island anymore because you've caught a mola and you caught a vampire squid. But we did it so for the people, Emily. We did it, we for, did the it people, for the people. And I'm okay. I'm not hurt at all. It's look fine. at it! Look at it, everybody! It's buddy fine. system. That's right, buddy system. <laughs> we have everybody. Vampiro Toothis, Infernalis, Infernalis, the, the vampire, vampire squid, squid from, from hell. hell. That was good. Emily. That was that was good. Emily, we did it. I can't believe we, it. We did it. Thank you for uh, including me in that. I was just over there catching more sea grapes. Yep. Let's get some W's in the chat. Let's get some. Let Let's get some. Uh, I mean everything. This is incredible. They bioluminous at night, Magnus. Oh my goodness. Oh um, my okay, God. so Emily, yeah. give us the rundown yeah. about the vampire squid because our colleagues at the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute uh, are some of the primary investigators of these animals as they occur out here in the deep yep. sea in the Monterey Bay. But they Emily, do. tell the folks what do we have right here. So we've been talking a lot about. Uh, octopus on the last couple of streams and uh patrick has mentioned the words serrate octopus and inserate octopuses and uh for the most part the only octopuses that we have seen so far on this island both as neighbors and in game have been inserate octopuses this 
right here, even though it is called a vampire squid, is in fact what? a serrate octopus. Yeah, it's it's even in its own offshoot of the Vampyromorphidae. It's the only species in yeah. its own group there. So closely related, yeah, to those serrate octopuses. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Um, oh my gosh, I'm so ha happy. Uh, Vampyrotooth is infernalis, like Patrick and I, I, I <laughs> said before. Uh, literally translates into the vampire squid from hell. And this beautiful little cephalopod here um even though it has that big spooky name does not suck blood it instead uses these two long sticky tendrils that it kind of puts out into the ocean in the deep sea and those sticky tentacles catch marine snow as it falls down in the water um so marine snow being a whole bunch of dead things from the surface uh, a whole bo bunch of detritus um, and then a whole bunch of you know things like fecal pellets and poop raining down in the, 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 the ocean um, and, and it captures them on these sticky tentacles and so this this beautiful little octopus here basically eats sea snot um, and yes exactly right yeah and Emily in the chat, I don't know if you've been noticing, but they have come up with a fantastic, fantastic name, fantastic name for, for, it. Uh, for our vampire squid, which would be Dante Ooh. because of the vampire squid from hell. I like it. I like um, it. I like it. Uh, yeah. So as you were saying, uh, Emily, yeah, the vampire squid. Um, so it's it's in its own complete group of of cephalopod like you were mentioning those those serrate octopuses with the little uh, filaments on their on their arms that's what they have on their arms you can see the two little flappy fins there yeah. also something you're going to see on dumbo octopuses and on um flapjack octopuses uh but then it's it's got its own thing going on it's it's thought to be a pretty ancient type of uh of cephalopod there Wait. um and those two feeding tentacles that you're mentioning very similar to patrick what squid have what they even, they even included the two feeding tentacles. Look at at the what? zoom, look at the zoom on Twitch. Uh, I'm on a severe delay on Twitch. I okay. think about 20, 20 plus seconds. But I'll look at it. <gasps> I do see it. So they do have the two little feeding tentacles. Amazing. So folks, if you head over to uh, the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute or Mabari Mbari, uh, M B A R I, um, you'll be able to see. Uh, so much video of the vampire squid um oh and you can see there it's got the siphon there in the middle we're currently looking at the bottom side of the vampire squid you can also see yeah. that it's got uh yeah. the flesh extending between the arms there um really just an incredible uh deep sea specimen but what we might not see right now but i'm being told in the chat is that it points out that they are bioluminescent, Emily, in the game. And so uh, when we get your own vampire squid, um, apparently if you have it in your house and you turn off the lights, you can see it bioluminesce. Bioluminescence is when animals make their own light and vampire squid have several sacs and the tips of their tentacles uh, in particular that have bright blue bioluminescent uh, sacs of bacteria. Uh, on them, and we have some of that video on on the YouTube as well. Uh, vampire squid are found out here in the Monterey Bay. Uh, we recently did a talk; you may have seen it on Twitch with Pilot Ben Irwin of the ROVs, remotely operated vehicles, over at Embari, and he said that one of their bumper stickers that they've made is "Will break for vamps" uh, because it's such an incredible animal to see in the deep sea. Truly, one of the most iconic yeah. animals out there. Emily, we found it. We did it. Amazing. This is so cool. I wish that we could place it. Thank you, Emily. Oh, thank you for the applause in game. I know that you're seething right now. I know <laughs> no, that. No, I'm like... not seething, Patrick. Oh, okay. I don't. Okay. I'm not a seether. I'm more of a, a quiet sadness. <laughs> oh, okay. No, I, I figured seething just for the pun, but. Uh, oh, um... okay. Well. <laughs> and now you're seething. <laughs> now I'm just. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that's right. Look at my little vamp with these little flappy flaps. Oh, oh we did it. And our boss saw us do it, too. Our boss so saw us do points. it, That's points. Yay. That's points. Yay. I'm just going to actually, here, I'm just going to spin around slowly to rub it in. 
do 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 do. Right, and who I'm just caught gonna, the mola? Gonna... Who caught the vamp? Who caught the mola? <laughs> I'm sorry, Emily. You've done literally uh-huh. everything else. Uh-huh. <laughs> you've, uh-huh. you've done literally uh-huh. everything else. Literally everything else. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Blue Lynette is saying, "I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed." <laughs> Emily, we did it. It's before five. We did it. Oh, we thought this is gonna this is gonna take a while, my friends. Let's find you another one. No. But I did get a muscle. I guess that's my <laughs> consolation prize. Yay! Well, it's another mollusk. Yeah, definitely. Everybody, can we get some love for Emily in the no, chat? No, no. Can no, we get some love? Can no. we get some console? Can we get some no. consolation? Consolation. <laughs> some consolation. That's okay. In the chat. It's consolation, okay, please, because I'm for gonna, Emily. I'm just gonna go no, put I this on so the strongest rock in the ocean. It's Emily, it's I have so few. Puzzles. Emily, I have so few pro gamer moments to be proud of in this time. The first <laughs> thing I did on stream is destroy your flowers because I didn't know any better. I've disrobed live. <laughs> <laughs> and lost all of my clothing while we were streaming. That was just karma's coming back. <laughs> the great equalizer. Look at all the love in the chat, Emily. Look. Everybody. I know. I know you. Uh, thank you. Thank you, chat. <laughs> <laughs> I will. It was incredibly fast, though. Like, I almost ran out of air. Oh, I don't know if you hear Trooper back there, but Trooper was just woofing for a second. Oh, has has Trooper has Trooper withdrawn best friend status from me? I'm sorry, Trooper. She might have. I didn't mean to. (laughs) I'm just gonna continue to dive over here. I'll find one. It's good. I'll find one one day. Well, folks, if you can clip it with uh, the vampire squid and the <laughs> mola and all that stuff. <laughs> Send it directly to me and... Uh, no, I saw Celestine already clipped it there. Okay, Oh, awesome. this one is very fast too. Let's see and what it is. Oh, it's an oyster. If you're making some uh, fan art again, uh, the hashtag is <laughs> AC, AC fin art. Fin art. Whoa. That was great. That was good. Good job, Patrick. Thank you. Yay. Thank you, Emily. <laughs> <laughs> it means a lot. Again, it's not See, Tony Hawk, I, so I I'm get, not quite yeah, sure what to I do. Can, I get over my sadness pretty quickly here. <laughs> all right. Boy, well, that's all. We figured that it was going to take us I mean, a lot longer. I, yeah. I, <laughs> so I, that was like all we budgeted <laughs> for for this stream. Oh, look at that. Um, cool. Celestina has the clip in. Yeah, she does. Oh, that's so great. Thank you, Celestina. <laughs> she titled it Buddy System. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <gasps> There's a big shark on shore, oh. Emily. Go. I go, don't know. Monty, go. Oh, no. Okay. I don't know if you want to see if maybe it's a mola. Hold on. I have something fast over here that I'm trying to catch. Come on. Go, Monty. Go. Go, 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 go. Go faster, Monty. Go faster. What'd you get? Nothing yet. It's too fast. Okay. Okay. We got oh, this. It might be a big thing. might be a big clam. I'm trying. I'm trying. Oh, they're watching me fail now. Oh, no. No, you're good, Emily. Where are you? Where are right you? I'm here. here to help. Yeah. What? Yay. What happened? What happened? Where are you? Oh, I'm so happy now. <laughs> oh, I see where you are. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Yay. What happened? What happened? Did you get it? Did Thank you get a vamp? Animal Crossing Gods. You got a vamp. Yeah, my tears. My tears filled the yes! ocean up. And, Emily! And it happened, Patrick. Where are you? I'm right here. I'm over on the right side of the island a little bit uh, uh, to the south from where you caught your vampire squid. So to the to the right, not off the back of the island. I think I hear you splashing. Okay, come down. Come south. Yes! Yay! Woo! 
<laughs> yes. Oh my goodness, that's right. Oh, you that's didn't right. even mention the pun that they used here. I got a vampire squid. A lot was at stake. That's awesome. I also wanted to point out, everyone, that this is... So I've come up with a lot of puns in my day. Uh, but the proudest pun that I've ever come up with when working for the aquarium was when we were trying to come up with a pun related to the vampire squid. And I came up with, it's the Dracula Mari. Oh, uh, yeah. So that's my crowning achievement. And there it is for all of you <laughs> folks right there. Congratulations on your Dracula Mari. Yay. Emily, we can call mine Dante and yours is Dracula Mari. Or which do you want Dante? Oh. What do you do want to like, name your vamp? No, I do like Dracula Mari. All right, Dracula let me, Mari yeah, let me and think Dante. On it. Let me think on it. See if okay. anything else Just thinking. comes comes to mind here. Um, hold on, I do have to press a button over on uh, over on OBS. There, there we go. Um, Sorry, Trooper had just decided to come and stand right next to me <laughs> because of all well, the Well, Trooper's so excited. So, yeah. She saw mom catch yeah. a vamp. Yeah. So she's she was getting in on the excitement with us. Emily, you did it. I, in fact, I'm reversing oh. directions. Oh, no, but I can't care anything else. Should I swap it with something? Yes, obviously. Oh, swap no. It. <laughs> no. Oh, keep no. Keep the sea grapes, I'll Emily. Keep, keep the sea the grapes. Sea grapes. Keep the sea grapes. Think of <laughs> think of the grapes. Be free by grapes. <laughs> Be free. Oh uh, yes. Oh, we did it. Right at like right before five o'clock too. And Emily Buffy is another one that people are throwing out there. Oh, that's good. Buffy and Dante, the Buffy, Dracula yeah. Mari. Yeah. It obviously has to be Buffy. It's Buffy and Dante, the Dracula Mari. We did it. We did it. Yes. Oh, we did it. man. Oh, man. We're going to swim in very slow circles here. We did it. Emily. Pat. Emily, you Pat. crushed it. Pat. I, I do oh. like to think that it was my, my salty tears. <laughs> it was the blessings of Pascal yeah. coupled with the sadness of the sea knowing that it had yeah, I feel like bestowed that's a, me, that's a the one who deserved it the least. <laughs> But finally, <laughs> with perfect quality, Yay. achieved by the technical prowess that is Emily and her pro gamer strats, <laughs> no, no. she now has her own Dracula Mari. It's Buffy. I was already happy at the beginning of the stream because we got this new streaming setup tech working. So that was my, my happiness right there. Come on, Monty. Oh, man. You can I'm do exhausted. It. You can get out of the water. I believe in you. Um... Oh, that was such an emotional roller coaster there. Um, it was indeed. There we go. Had to do one more. Had to do one more there. Um, Patrick, I feel like that's a pretty good way to... to oh, look, you cut the sea grapes <laughs> that I look, dropped back in. <laughs> I cut the grapes, Emily. <laughs> I was going to say, I felt like that was a pretty good bookend to our, uh, our stream today when we uh, first first animal that we we caught uh was the scallop so we got to meet pascal right off the bat and then we both caught vampire squid i feel like that's a good i Friday feel like we should go on land today. and show off the vampire squid to finish that's up true. the stream that is true okay well the little beach should be right over here yes I I I feel that we are getting better at this game, even though that had nothing to do with our <laughs> skill. Absolutely not. Where, wait, where did you go? Oh, you what? I see. I'm behind you. Oh, you behind me. <laughs> ah. Okay. <laughs> well, the music really changed. Yeah, because you're not in the water anymore, so it's the where sh normal. Where should we stand? Sound. Um. On the pier? On the pier? Booyah. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh. Look okay, at we that. Gotta, we got to stand here for a while uh, for me to. Um, I don't want to refresh Twitch yet. Because <laughs> um, uh, I'm going to lose all. Well, I'll lose all the chat, but here. Well, 
we'll just we'll just refresh Twitch real quick. Um, see if it catches up. Yes, there it is. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna grab a screenshot of that and post over on Twitter that uh, it was a pretty good day. <laughs> it was a pretty good day. Was, yeah. It was pretty. It was pretty solid. Everyone, I think we did a good job. Wow, Emily. Have we, we ever it. been this successful? I don't think we have, to be quite honest. Well, I mean, there was the shark stream where the first fish that we caught was the whale shark. That one, that one went really well. Um, and then last game, last game was pretty good. But no, I, I feel like this is this is next level for us right here. Oh man. <sighs> Oh, I did like somebody said Dractula for the the pair of them. It's, it's <laughs> Buffy and Dante, the Dractula squids. <laughs> the Dractula. Oh, that's so funny. Um, okay, why uh, is the redemption streams? <laughs> yeah. Um, Bean Baby Forty Seven over on Twitch. Uh, no, we do have uh, octopus neighbors as well, but we have we have four penguins and three octopus neighbors, and then we are trying to get more penguins to to have uh, a beautiful penguin paradise over here. So we have we have Sprinkle. Uh, oh, speaking of our neighbor, hey Marina. Uh, this is awkward. Um. Uh, um. Uh, <laughs> Uh, we're teaching deep sea biology. Okay, Thanks. she left. She left. Okay. okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, she took one look at us and was just like, um, I think I'm interrupting something over here. Uh, whoops. The, yeah, the hard U turn <laughs> happened there. <laughs> um, if you, that's another thing that we have to find out. So we know that they bioluminesce at night in the game. Uh, someone else was asking about the pineapple pose. So the pineapple pose, for those of you who, who aren't familiar, oh, yeah, the yeah, pineapple yeah. pose is when uh, the vampire squid takes all of its uh, arms and sticks them up above its head. And because it's a sea octopus, it doesn't have suction cups on its arms. Instead, it has um cirri on its arms in instead so they look like little spikes almost but they're soft um uh so when it sticks its arms up above its head it looks all spiky like a pineapple um so that's what's called the pineapple pose so we'll have to see if it does a pineapple pose in game too um so emily i could actually leave your island and then you could put it in your house and turn off the lights will it work that way that's what someone in chat was saying. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So should, get I mean, out of are, here. Are we wrapped up with with that? I sh yeah, I should probably should yeah <laughs> chat. I should probably leave so that Emily can can both <laughs> turn off the lights in her house with the Dracula Mari so we can see Buffy bioluminesce, and then. Sorry, I, I, there were there was a request. Okay, there we go. Yeah. There okay, we go. I'll get it's out of here. Better. It's better now. Well, and then we'll Everything and then we'll donate to we'll donate to the museum right after that. Yeah, we'll put it in. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Oh wait, can you can you put it in your house as long as I don't come in? Okay. Editor Deb is saying that here. I'll I'll stay on the pier. Very okay, fun. yeah, we're being told. Uh, thank you okay. for the pro gamer okay. strats, everybody. You can place okay. items in your house with guests as long as guests aren't in your house with you. <gasps> okay. Thank you. That was from uh, Sekhmet Lives. Thank you. Thank you, Mandalee. Oh, please ignore the Sekhmet cockroaches lives. in my house, too. I think they're adorable, so I refuse to step on them. Um, okay, let's see here. Where can it go? Um, oh, it can go down. I've also started a new room in our house. <sighs> yes. Okay. Turn off all the lights. I don't see it yet. I'm waiting. I know. I'm waiting. The light 
Tell me. Is there anything? I don't see it yet. Oh, wait. Can I come in your house now? I think so. Come downstairs. Kay. On my way. Watch out for the roaches. <laughs> the cucarachas? The cucarachas, yes. Wait, tap the octo and turn it around. What if you do you tap the tap the tank? I mean, I can turn the light on, but hmm. Okay, people are saying they think it might only happen at night. <gasps> oh, okay. Okay. Um, if you put it, if you put it in the museum, does it? Does it bioluminesce in the museum? Does it bioluminesce in the museum? Okay, well, I have I have ideas. So, Patrick, first, I'm going to need you to leave my island. Go away. Whoa. Whoa. Harsh words. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Love you. Thanks. Love you. Bye. <laughs> I mean, but don't, don't, like, leave the call. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. It's rude to redecorate when you have company. Yeah, you're telling me. <laughs> it's also rude to kick your company off of the. Wait, are, are you that far behind on the stream, bro? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, hey, everyone, this is Emily's stream now. What's up? Um, it's your girl, Emily. <laughs> no, it's not. Um, <laughs> I'm still here. <laughs> <laughs> no, keep going, Emily. You're good. Oh, no. I just need to close the gates here before I can do anything. <laughs> <sighs> uh, no, he should still have his, his squid. Check, check your pockets and make sure that you still have. Um, oh, if if. If I don't have Dante in my pocket right now, <laughs> hell hath no fury like a vampire squid crossed. Um, no, I'm good. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to run over and say hi to Blathers. Okay, you do that. I'm going to um, pardon me for just one second here. Uh, stream. We're going to we're going to do weird stuff. Okay. Wait, what? <laughs> we're going to we're going to do weird stuff. Uh yeah. Save, save and end. What's do, happening? Do, what are you do, doing? Do, do, do. They're going to hey, see our pro gamer moves in action right now. I'm sure that this is riveting. Oh By my By the way, gosh. everybody, in case in case you're all, worried, all 200 uh, and and, uh, and 70 people watching right now between Twitch and YouTube. Hi everyone, welcome, welcome to the Modern Bay Aquarium. Uh, plays Animal Crossing poorly, <laughs> but we have uh, a lot well, of fun no, doing it. <laughs> I not mean, not poorly. today. We have no, two today vampire we had, squid, yeah. which is dose more than we had previously. That's two hours ago. We had zero vampire squid, and now we have two. So. Yeah. I'm donating the vampire squid to uh, Blathers right now just to see what he says about him. Cool. All right. So the vampire squid, Blathers says, beware the vampire squid. <gasps> oh, no. He's talking about, yeah, he's talking about what it is that they actually eat, which is marine snow, marine which we snow, discovered. Yay. Here in the Monterey Bay, the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute discovered that marine snow connection there. Oh, this is awesome. All right. Well, hey, everybody. You know, <laughs> we covered everything that Blathers said. So uh, I'm not going to reveal everything that he said, but we, we yeah. have already... We covered everything that Blather said. Awesome. I know. I agree. Trooper. That's right, Trooper. We're really good at this. We're amazing. Thank you. Thank you for agreeing. Oh, 
Uh, yeah, uh, we are looking into Abzu, yes, and all those things as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We actually, um, uh, can we share this? We we got permission to play Abzu, and oh, we did, and Beyond Blue, and um, Octodad. Those are the three yes. new games that we got permission to play um, and to buy for for uh, for ourselves. So we we have to figure out all the tech behind that. Uh, because there are some games that uh, we can't play on the Switch, mainly uh, Beyond Blue has not come out on the Switch yet, so I have to figure out a streaming setup for that. But we are going to have Abzu and Octodad, at least, on the Switch, and then figuring out how to do Beyond Blue, because it's going to be fun. And I played about 30 seconds of Abzu, Patrick. Um, Yeah. And oh my gosh. (laughs) Oh, I mean, we both love this game. You're going to lose your mind when you see Abs. Really? Because you are. I'm, I'm currently staring at a vampire squid, a coelacanth, and a barrel eye and an oarfish on my island. So <laughs> if, if Abzu is anywhere near this, that's going to be pretty, pretty, pretty sweet. I saw sheephead in Abzu just throwing it out. No. There. Okay. Get out. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. It's yeah. better. Okay, no. No. Okay. <laughs> oh, wait. My. I ran the wrong way. My squid is still in here. Okay. Emily, just Buffy, remember, I'm, I'm on like a, I'm on like a twenty second delay. Okay. Oh no, I see you now. We're good. Okay. You're inside. I'm staring at my vampire squid that's hanging out with a coelacanth. No big deal. Um, uh, is Ace of Seafood okay? That is one of the ones that we put on the list. <gasps> <gasps> is my oh my look god! Look at it go! Look at it go! Look at it go! Oh my gosh! Oh, oh, missing. oh my gosh! Look Whoa. at this! Oh my gosh, Whoa. Patrick! Look at it! <gasps> oh my gosh! Oh, that's, so go. cool. that's so cool! Emily, it's so cool! Oh my gosh, Patrick! Wait, leave it there in profile. I'm gonna oh, take a oh sorry, there. sorry, sorry, sorry! No, 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 Monty! No, what are you it. doing, Monty? What no, are you doing? It. Okay, there we go. There we go. It's, it. fine. it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. That's so oh cool. Gosh. Thank you, chat, for the for the suggestion. Wow. Wow. Oh that my is so gosh. cool. So yeah, the bioluminescent tips of the vampire squid, they have uh little light organs basically that are filled with bioluminescent glowing bacteria. There's a few different ways for um for animals to be bioluminescent in the deep sea, they can either be completely bioluminescent by having their own self-contained chemistry, or um, they're gonna have they're gonna co-opt bioluminescent bacteria probably from the food that they're eating. Um, so many fish have that, squid have that, jellies have that. Jellies are more likely to have their own built-in bioluminescent mechanisms than having the bacteria, which are more for some of the mollusks and fish. But that is something else. That is so. Wait. Oh, so cool. okay. You've got a much better screen grab right now. I'm going to grab that one instead. Yeah, yeah, do this one. Um, this is the coolest thing. I mean, that is so awesome. It's so cool. <laughs> yes, that because that's exactly what so they look like. Cool. Yeah, it's so cool that they programmed this in the game. Wow, 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 wow. Wow. I mean, what else is there to say other than look at that, everybody? That is some game design. I'm nerding out real hard. This is awesome. I know. <laughs> um, sorry, I stopped mid sentence before, but for good reason, I promise. Because look, look at that. Look at look at Buffy. She's so beautiful right now. Um, I do need to name my cockroach that's running around. Uh, thank you, thank you, chat for <laughs> for letting me know. Um. But the sorry, uh, there were games. Ace of Seafood. Uh, someone mentioned before. Uh, I believe we got that one approved, but we don't have uh, the money to buy it yet. Um, we are still um, in uh, quite a. We're, we're trying to make up uh, the shortfall of revenue that would have been coming into the aquarium, uh, but coronavirus uh so we're being mindful with our our budget right now um so we're we're buying um we're buying mindfully at the moment um 
So that one, and then someone else mentioned Subnautica. Subnautica is another game too that uh, we have looked into and got approval for. But again, just being mindful of of budget at the moment. And uh, and yes, so we have a we have a list of like forty games that I made <laughs> people look over <laughs> to make sure that we could play them on stream here. Um, that we are are gonna slowly kind of work our way through. Um, and we got Animal Crossing for the last couple of months, and we're going to continue to play Animal Crossing. Don't you worry, because we get joyous moments like this. Um, but we're also going to play other games. So we have more interpretive opportunities to talk about the ocean and how wonderful it is. And yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. I Patrick, can't think of a better so cool. ending to the week. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah so good what a week it has been and we get to end it here with buffy wow. just glowing away i wonder okay hold on we're gonna try one thing here chat um if i if i pick buffy up and then yeah, and just for and the folks that are in the chat it. asking if they can donate games directly uh, and uh, if there's a gaming fund there, um, the mechanism to do that at this moment just because of um, the situation the aquarium finds itself in with the closure is is uh, a bit complex. So um, thank you so much for your generous uh, yeah. support, yeah. of course. Oh, it's by Luminous on the beach too. I know. Um, that's, why I was that's why I went outside to see if it would still glow showing it off out here. Yeah, yeah, as oh, as as Sarah is so saying, cool. yeah, donations to help uh support the animals that are currently in our yeah. care. Yeah, um, they're number the, one. As, the exhibit hall yeah. and the staff uh yeah. that are at the aquarium is really the number one and the gaming yeah. is just all kind of bonus on the side at this yeah. moment. But thank you so much for everyone and like hopefully yeah. we can get to a point where that would be that would be simpler. Yeah, we do these streams that we can support the aquarium the aquarium is not here to support the streams i guess is the best way to put it so <laughs> it, it's a yeah. bit it's a bit of both but definitely <laughs> it's, it's, both. it's going yeah. it, it current we're currently in a situation <laughs> if you we're currently a... <laughs> okay well this is a wonderful end to the stream i'm going to stand here in the plaza next to uh our beautiful boy rolled um who is singing away here and i'm going to hold up the vampire squid um and we can be excited about it together. Um, oh, can we just listen to that for a second? Yeah. This is so great. <laughs> Sing that song, Rolled. Sing it for the people. <laughs> oh, my precious boy. Yes. <laughs> Octavian took one look at me holding Buffy up and was just like, nope. <laughs> Walking off stream now. Oh, okay, Patrick. Yeah. A plus stream. We did Good it, job. everyone. That mosquito is going to come in here and bite me and I'm going to be so sad, but I don't care. I got Buffy. I got rolled singing. It's a beautiful day. Absolutely. Thank you so much, everyone, All for right. being a part of gaming history <laughs> as two <laughs> marine scientists discover vampire squid together and just get to spend a delightful Friday afternoon with all of you amazing folks out there. Yeah. Uh, on Team Ocean, Team Animal Crossing, Team Gaming, Team, uh, team Pat Scal, the terrible boy. <laughs> and uh, Monty Ray, Epic Gamer Strats, Emily over here. Nah. So good. So good. We got a mantis shrimp. We got two vamp. I, I mean, Patrick, I don't know if you forgot about that. Uh, yeah, we did. <laughs> we That's got amazing. a mantis shrimp. We met Pascal. We got two vampire squid. It's been a good day. Um, thank you so much for being here, everyone. Um, we'll do our little ending 
pitches for for everybody that we usually do um if you want to help support the aquarium right now of course just by subscribing to um our twitch channel that all goes to help support the aquarium um whether it is uh buying a sub or um uh, subbing for free with your Amazon Prime account that all goes to the aquarium if you're watching over on YouTube um, we are so so close to hitting 100,000 subscribers which unlocks a lot of opportunities for us to do fundraising over on YouTube so um, if you don't mind hitting that subscribe button to help us out help us hit that mark um, that would really really help us out over there as well um, there are, of course, ways that you can donate directly to the aquarium. You can buy merch to help support the aquarium and stuff, too. Um, we've got designs available for you to check out with our Animal Crossing codes that you can show off your Team Ocean flair. I should really make a Team Ocean shirt. I'll do that next time. I'll make a Team Ocean shirt that we can use uh, in-game awesome. there. Um, but... We've enjoyed spending our Friday afternoon with you so much. Thanks for putting up with Patrick and I's antics all the time. <laughs> um, we we say it every stream, but we, we really do. This is such a joyous moment in our days um, to be able to hang out with all of you. So we appreciate all of you so much and all of the joy and energy that you bring to our streams. Um, the streams wouldn't be the same without all of you. So we appreciate all of you being here. Um, Patrick, anything else that you want to end before we wrap it up? No, just again, thank you everyone for being a part of this uh, aquarium experiment at the beginning of quarantine many months ago <laughs> when we weren't quite sure how this would go and just uh, how much y'all uh, support us, tell us how to play the game while we're playing it and then enjoy us blathering on. And um, uh, yeah, it's really awesome to be able to have this uh, experience of actually doing marine science interpretation, which is what we used to do uh back when the aquarium was open it's truly my favorite thing to do so it's really so yeah. great for you to give us an audience to be able to uh, share information share the wonder of the natural world and uh just again shout out to the animal crossing folks if any of you are out there thank you for uh such a great job um with all of these amazing animals the vampire squid is there uh thanks everyone who's following us on all of our social media feeds for being members of the aquarium uh donors of the aquarium uh, for subscribing here on Twitch, for subscribing over there on YouTube. Uh, anyone who's watching this, thank you so much for being there. Um, next week, we have the Getty Museum yes. Yes, is yes, going to yes. be there on stream uh, with us. We're going to be talking about some art. And then the week after that, we'll have some more special guests as well as we um, as we plan those out. But so yeah. next Friday afternoon, we've got the Getty Museum um, <laughs> that will be there with us. That'll be very exciting. Yeah, so um, just a quick heads up that next week is going to look a little uh, strange for our Twitch schedule. Oh, no, yes. <laughs> my thing fell asleep again. Uh, uh, we'll fix this. Oh, gosh, I can multitask. So next week is going to look a little strange for us over there on Twitch. Um, we aren't going to have any of the... Um, our normal webcams running uh, through the week over uh, on our channel and our first, our only stream, I should say, next week is going to be uh, with the Getty yes. Museum. Um, yeah, Curtis, uh, yeah. our webcam master is taking some time off as well. So coordinating yeah. the uh, live cams just over to Twitch um, will be difficult, but the, don't worry, the live cams are still yeah. going to be live. Many of them on yep, YouTube yep, 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 are yep. live on YouTube all the time, but they're also live, all of them on our website. Uh, so if you need the live cam in your life, head over to MonteryBayQuarium.org. You'll find the live cams there. It's just we won't uh, have the capacity to get it over to Twitch next week. But yep. don't worry. We will be live yep. again on Friday um, and keep it going after that. Yep, yep, yep. yep. So, uh, so we'll see you a week from today over here on Twitch. But don't worry. We will still have uh, the live cams up on the website and YouTube and elsewhere. And um, and we're, re we're really excited for for an art stream that's going to be so much different for us it's going to be yeah it's going to be a whole new world um yeah. cool All it's right. going to be more fun than watching paint dry i can tell you that hey hey uh <laughs> we're just really canvassing for some new subjects oh, oh, oh uh, man to talk about art. we gotta work on our art funds Tableau, for next week is, no. uh, is what Tableau, no <laughs> That's right. We yeah. got the art puns. Oh, people. boy. Oh, man. 
I hope the Getty Museum is ready for this. <laughs> oh, they better be. <laughs> All right. Well, with that, everyone, um, we're going to sign off for the night. Thank you again so much for hanging out with us this afternoon. Um, as always, uh, and especially these very strange times that we find ourselves in, don't forget to be kind to yourself and most importantly, be kind to each other. And we will see all of you again very soon. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, everyone. Thank you.